Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to brother LTTV. Shout out to LTTV. Shout out to brother LTTV. Losers that sit there saying, Oh, it's getting rocky, man. You should leave. Why do you stay by Stinko? Do you stay by the tanks? Do you still think they have a drug curse? First is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects you, motherfucker. Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People are fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. You know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. Yes. You think you have a right to child support? Ooh, Destiny. Destiny is officially on his red pill arc. Fantastic question. Let's see what the gold digger says to this. Fucking did it! And then you dumbasses, three years later, put some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again! You fucking idiots! I'm not going anywhere! I'm standing right fucking here! Alright? These guys are with me in my darkest times! I'm not gonna fucking leave them in their darkest times! Fuck you motherfuckers! I got my real estate, I got my money, I'm fine! I'm not going anywhere! I can't be bought! That was real. Uh, you broke the glass. And maybe the TV. Okay. Um, uh, did, you, did you break the TV? <laughs> this nigga fucking Yeah, there's a line between the TV, no. This nigga went crazy. He asked four questions. Yeah. Why this? Why that? Why are you doing this? And as a parent, what sh the real motive is, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Destiny, man. Shout out to Destiny, man. Uh, I don't think, uh, I genuinely don't believe that those conversations are to be had on the internet. I think that should be done behind closed doors. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Like, you don't need to make a, make it a fucking spectacle. Like, if I really care about you and I'm going to have a conversation with you where I care about your self-interest, why am I going to do it in front of a camera? Like, that's a, that's a big red flag. Like, yo, that's a big red flag if someone's trying to hold you accountable in front of a camera. That's, tr that's weird, bro. That's weird. Because how can you actually have a genuine, fruitful conversation in front of a camera? 
because we're all men here. We all don't want to back down or look crazy or get you uh, emasculated on camera. Like, 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 the, listen to yourselves when you say this stupid shit. You hold them accountable on camera. That tells me you haven't lived life for real. They talked to her on. If you want more content, go watch that. Yeah, you her. Stupid. Yo, that nigga went in. I'm Emotional damage. Yeah, LTTV, Blunt Talk with LT, back at it with another video. Now, these frauds, these cowards thought that we couldn't find this footage. They thought they deleted it. They thought they were slick. This, I had, they, they had a bunch of their pathetic ass fans in the chat saying, oh, you're lying. You're making it up. This didn't happen. Look at the video. Send in the link. It's like, bro, they deleted it. They put it on, or it was stuck on Rumble. I don't know if they, if they scrubbed it from Rumble. But I already got that. They're too late. This guy had an emotional outburst, acting like a whole bitch, talking about, oh, women are emotional. Women do this. Women do this. And then this guy's always constantly emotional whenever he's held accountable. These guys are trying to, they're allergic to accountability to the point where it's, it's accountability for women and women exclusively. But when it's men, oh, how dare you ever try to hold a man accountable on camera? We're, we're, we're men. We don't want to get emasculated and blah, blah, blah. It's like, bro, what? What? Your whole show is predicated on holding these women accountable, pulling out a delusional calculator to show, show how delusional their desires in are, the, the, their desires for men are, the, the point zero percentage of a chance they have actually finding the men. Like, all the bullshit that they do. Then you got this dick riding dweeb pause, mediocre tutorials and reviews, who I told y'all about so long ago, but y'all didn't want to listen. Y'all wanted to fan out. Same thing goes for Destiny. I told y'all about this motherfucker a long time ago, but I don't want to play the footage that I have on Destiny again because I don't want to get this video demonetized. I'll probably just share the link so you guys can get a refresher of the reason why I don't fuck with that guy. These guys are all frauds. They're all unaccountable. But before, before we get into this, we got something else to get into, y'all. Hold up. Let me pull up this video real quick, y'all, because this is pathetic work out here. These guys are all focused on the wrong thing. Fresh. Gets a woman, he gets a woman pregnant, all right? He gets her pregnant. His doing, his actions, he nutted in her raw. Nobody told him to do that. That's what he did. Now he comes with this gaslighting fuckery. Oh, she's a thought. She's a 304. She's a gold digger. All this bullshit. We don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't so care. now we're, we're, we're stuck trying to look through the interviews. Oh, is she gold digging? Is she this? Is she a thought? Bro, none of that matters. You're being unaccountable. That's an unaccountable deflection. These guys are gaslighters, so you're going to be an absentee father and blame it on she's a thought? So that's the reason why you're not in the child's life and why you're avoiding child support? You got weird folks like Destiny and MTR making arguments against the child support for the woman. It's like, bro, what are you guys doing out here? You're not unaccount are you guys unaccountable for your goddamn actions? It's pathetic out here. You see this type of shit in the manosphere where they make arguments. Oh, it's the woman's fault. She should have never allowed the man to go in raw. She has to carry the child that stays with her. It's like, bro, you're still the fucking father, you unaccountable piece of dog shit. You guys are supposed to be representation or representatives for men or black men at that. Get Man, get these guys the fuck out of here, man. Get him out of here. He's got no place in here. Get rid of him. Okay. Normally, whenever me and would travel, um, we would usually only do cucks for a single night. But because Nim, I guess she really wanted like somebody who was like Middle Eastern and had like a 15 inch or whatever, because it's like four times bigger than mine. I had to do it for four nights. They, so they would lock me in the corner of the room and just, I would be getting over and over and over again. It's a brutal trip. I'm sorry, you were locked in the corner of the room getting cucked? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what happened? You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. This is why he has all this rage for this woman. These guys pick these women, they degrade the women that they want. So they have access to them. We've been calling this out for a while. They degrade them. They denigrate them. They try to put them in their place to lower their value so they uh, qualify for these women. And then they, they get in situations and they're like, oh, you're a thought. You're this. You're that. It's like, bro, you knew exactly what you were signing up for. And now you're trying to deflect and try to have some convenient excuse to not be, to, to be unaccountable for your actions. It's pathetic, man. This was, um, shit, I zoomed in too far. The Real Toronto News. The Real Toronto News posted this. It says, Destiny reveals that he's against Islam, a Arabs, and Palestine because his ex-wife used to fornicate with Middle Eastern dudes in his presence. Yikes. Yikes. So he just had to watch that. Who the club is you? Oh, my God. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. Ooh. 
Normally, whenever me and Melina would travel, um, we would usually only do cucks for a single night. But because Nim, I guess she really wanted like somebody who was like Middle Eastern and had like a 15 inch or whatever, because it's like four times bigger than mine. I had to do it for four nights. They, so they would lock me in the corner of the room and just, I would be getting over and over and over again. It's a brutal <laughs> trip. But normally whenever me and Melina- Try English, no, I'm just going to Saskia. Go on, get him from the Saskia. Give him a little kiss on the cheek. I, th I think I, I also have to put some after. It. Who licked somebody's face? She just licked his face. You're getting cut. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from the doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. <laughs> okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Why would I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By, by saying I don't want a baby? I mean... To the, to the doctor, I guess. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? God I... wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're fucking me for a month. And I'm pregnant. Well, like, it, yeah. now I just think about it. If, like, if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Well, we already said having sex. So we got Roid Rage Myron balding, dusting it up, constantly getting emotional, calling women emotional. They don't know how to conduct themselves. They don't know how to be emotional. He says, less emotional, less emotional. These dumb bitches deserve nothing. They lose their frame easily, unlike us real men. I've seen him do it. Rewind sound. Oh, shit. I should have put the rewind sound there. I, I fucked that up. Yikes. Um... He said, I said these bitches are too emotional. These 304s need to shut their mouths and obey. So you got this dumbass who's constantly enraged, going off, acting like he's this stoic fucking alpha male when he's this pathetic. You know what? Let's get into this fucking footage, man. These guys hid the footage because that's what these guys do. These guys do stuff. They throw rocks. They hide their hands. They have these pathetic outings where they look embarrassing and then they delete the shit because they know what they did. They know exactly what they did. Not at one point did Fresh deny it. Did not at one point did he say I didn't. Yo, this guy's. Oh, we got a super chat. Shout out to Mr. G with the two dollars super chat. Rich. Ah. Hold up, chat. That what you gonna do to me is funny. Yeah, that man. That conversation was recorded against his will. I, I'm not getting into the minutia of any of that shit. They're always trying to deflect with, oh, she's a thought, she's a whore, she's a gold digger. Bro, none of that shit matters. I'm not getting into whether it's true or whether it's not. I don't give a shit, my nigga. She showed that she was pregnant. You had the conversation. That's all we need to focus on. You being unaccountable for getting a woman pregnant and, not, and then trying to abort the baby, which goes against y'all beliefs as well. Because somebody else was caught in 4K saying this. He did this. He guilty as fuck. Yeah. I want to see the thread expounded on this or expanded on this so I can see the validity of this tweet. If I found this tweet, I think, in, or this clip in the Discord, I'm going to have to scrub, search the timeline to see if to verify that this is actually true. I like to actually see it on the website so this is not like edited or any type of bullshit. But, you know, never an excuse. I know they say it's not, you know, deleting children when it's, it's, a, it's an abortion, but, you know, that's, some, that's a different area where people agree to disagree or not that they go, you know, back and forth and stand on their shit when it comes to that because some people vehemently disagree with that shit. But let's get back into this, y'all. 
we got this video with this guy snapping, being unaccountable, yelling at the screen because he's getting cooked by his chat. The chat's cooking him. The chat, we're cooking these guys because they're unaccountable. They're like, L fresh, L fresh. They're trying to escape the L's. What Myron do? You fucking losers that sit there saying, oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You sh Let's go watch that. Yeah, you're right. Stupid. Yo, that nigga went in. I'm, but granted, he has four questions. Yeah. Why this? Why that? Why are you doing this? And it's apparent what the real motive is, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Destiny, man. Shout out to Destiny, man. Uh, this guy said it's quite apparent what the real motive is. And see, Destiny went out sad here too because Destiny was trying to go back and forth and badger her and try to ask questions that have nothing to do with the pregnancy. This guy's talking about motives. If her motive is as a gold digger, you are a 30 some odd year old man that's supposed to be a leader of, uh, of men with this dating uh, podcast where you're advising men to stay away from traps like this and then you find yourself in said trap. Uh, you know what's funny? Yeah. He's all, he's all over my friend. Imagine that. Well, we had his back. And Hold up, y'all. I mean Hold up. They're talking about Destiny having their back. Oh, shit. This is max volume. I guess Rumble is that damn dusty. <laughs> Yikes. Hold up, y'all. And bro, integrity, integrity speaks volumes, guys. And here's the thing, too. Ask a lot of these YouTubers. This guy said integrity speaks volumes as they are glazing destiny. All right. So <sighs> I'm going to have to do this again. This is going to demonetize the footage. But this is destiny, y'all. I'm like 92% sure that I should be allowed to say the words like nigger or faggot within the context of an appropriate discussion. At destiny, you said nigger like one month ago. I would never even utter that disgusting fucking word. I would never, ever, in any circumstance, would I ever fucking say that. So that is not true. I'm like 92% sure that I should be allowed to say the words like nigger or faggot within the context of an appropriate discussion. Bro, do you even know who the fuck I am? Like, I just said the N word to you like 15 times, like two minutes ago. How are you gonna say this one? You know, like, clip it, nigga. Or like a 21 year old, 22 year old, like, there are some 15, 16 year old chicks that like look pretty fucking hot. Like, I can't, I can't. Yeah. He did this. Guilty as fuck. Clip it, nigga! From what I've read, apparently men that are given access to child pornography have a higher chance of not actually committing um, actions in real life. And I would argue that that would be a moral good, that if you can prevent people from acting on those urges, that's something that should be explored. Clip it, nigga! Child that's kind of a different thing uh, there's like moral versus pragmatic sides of that i've seen a little bit of evidence on the pragmatic side and it, it seems like an uh, like an okay thing i probably shouldn't say that or if i explain to my daughter incest is wrong is it actually shut your bitch ass up before i get to talking shit about you i don't want to hear nothing from fast talking cuck destiny all right Destiny got cooked by Candace Owens. Folks don't want to react to that fo footage because Candace Owens is deemed a coon and it's like, uh, we're not giving her any props for anything. I might have to pull up that footage. This guy got cooked. Um, but let's get back into this. That have worked with us in the past. What do they always fucking say? Yo, fresh fit are cool guys. Mm. They ain't gonna backstab you. They, 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 they're, they're loyal. Like, that's just what we, how we move. Like, and it's crazy to me how I, I get criticized. We get criticized for, oh, well, you guys are loyal to people who are your friends, etc. Look at it paying it back, back in di dividends. Right? Yeah. Like, Destiny don't agree with us. He don't have to do that. But he what you will find in this industry that if folks are loyal to clout and attention, they see some folks that have numbers, all of a sudden they start switching up their stance and switching up their posture. Getting cool with people because, oh, they do numbers. Oh, they have a level of visibility. Oh, you're famous. I should stand next to you. Talking about integrity and principles. It's like, my nigga, shut that bullshit the fuck up. Do you guys know who you are? Think you're hiding out in the open, you frauds? What the fuck are we doing out here? Fucking shit on her anyway. It was fucking fantastic. It was awesome. <laughs> it's a fucking, it was fantastic. Go to this channel, man. But yeah, go check it out, man. But like, the point I'm yeah. trying to make is, is that people respect that trait. For all you idiots out there that sit there and say, no, no, you're loyal to a fault. Bro, it always comes back around positively when you do good to people, man. Yeah. When you do good to people, then you're not a piece of shit. Right, and you're and you don't sit there and you backbite them and attack them when they're down and everything else like that, or trying to get a gotcha moment or any of this other crap. They fucking respect you for that shit, especially in this in this realm in YouTube where everyone's a fucking snake, bro. People are real snakes out here. Yeah, like preying on your fucking downfall every day. There's people preying on us, like going down. People laugh when we got demonetized. People laugh when we get uh, when anything bad happens to us, etc. But we're still 
fucking here. And isn't it funny? People are like, oh, we, uh, we call a question for, for comment. You, you didn't call us. You just made a video. Who said that? Uh, I'm not going to really? say who. I'm going to say who. But they made a video, and it's like, all right, cool. I see you, bro. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm going to stay quiet, but I won't forget. Actually, hashtag still over there. Okay. There you go. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy, That's crazy, bro. man. People come out the woodwork, man, and it's wild because... Facts, but you know, they, they, they don't get this. Loyalty is not a free pass. Find your friends with pedo, fuck that nigga. It's the end of that, man. It's like, what's wrong with these folks? There are certain things that they don't give a shit about. They make predatory arguments, predatory statements. They have folks that are just out here disrespecting other races, borderline racist or racist, but they're constantly tolerated. Why? Because they do numbers? Oh, they made a few points that I agree with. All right, so take the good things you agree with and fuck that motherfucker. Not not actually fuck that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Stick together. Pause. Knows he can have it. Pause. You see what I do when I got the rock. Pause. Let me just put this in real quick. This is Daniel, Pause. by the way. Shout out to Random University with the five dollar cash app. I'm getting rich. Ah. Uh, hold up. Let me see what Random University says. Can y'all hit the PayPal instead of the cash app? Cash app. It's, it's taking me entirely too long to get my bread. We got to get that PayPal going, y'all. I'm getting rich. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to get I'm going to get a Floyd meme or a um a motherfucking emoji for every time we start begging out here. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, All right, so shout out to Random University with the $5 cash app. Random University says this would have been the greatest episode of Maury. This would, that's facts. That is absolutely facts. I'm getting rich. Ah. That would have been, yo, pfft. yo, holy. Because it's, it's funny. It's like if you make a hippie on Fresh and Fit, you're going to get like a bunch of views. Because these people can't garner views with, without it, bro. They really can't garner views without it. It's crazy. Um. WRDDA goes, Fresh, did you... Nah, man, the Fresh and Fit topics don't even do as much views as the Floyd topics, sir. Floyd has, like, what, 3,000 subs? I do more views on those shows because those shows are more funny. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. See Bar Bernard uh, Riley? Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. Walter, that man in front of you is a true friend. The man is defending you left and right after tonight's shows. I want to take the man and go buy him an ice cream and get him a nice balloon. Oh, That's from Punisher. I appreciate that, bro. I mean, you know... It really bothers me when people talk shit about my friends, bro. Like, y'all don't get it. Like, it really does fucking piss me off. When the t when the Andrew Tate allegations came out, fucking pissed me off. Um, oh, when people talk shit about Fresh, gets me fucking mad. When people talk shit about Sneeko, etc. If you're my friend, you're my friend. I'm with you regardless of whether it's convenient or not. You fucking pussies in the chat that say, you're, married, you're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary, loyal to a fault. Because... You're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody, whether it's convenient or not, to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term, loyal to a fault. So, uh, sex traffickers, rapists, there is no line? There's no line where you're like, okay, this is something I can't stand by. But you're sitting up on your platform talking about integrity. Do these guys even... It's like, at some point, this it's, it's, it's asinine even having to, having to call this shit out. Like, how stupid are people to buy this shit? Okay? And if the fault is death, then guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money, and no one fucking respects you. Because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit. It's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm going to... All right, folks. Let's take a quick break here, y'all. And let's put this into perspective, y'all. So what just happened, folks? What happened to elicit this response and this emotional tirade from Myron? Fresh got a woman pregnant. <laughs> the chat is holding him accountable, saying, Fresh L, you should do better, X, Y, and Z. Fresh got a woman pregnant. So this dusty ass response where you're talking about sticking with people, be, being loyal, X, Y, and Z. All he did was get a woman pregnant, my nigga. Are you that account? Are you that unaccountable? Is he avoiding fatherhood that much and just trying to dust? This is pathetic, man. 
You guys are giving black men a bad name. This is why they call y'all tethers and try to separate from y'all. Although I'm a tether too and I'm just trying to sneak in. So I can tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. I get money residually. I don't fucking need to do this shit, and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I stand with my fucking friends. Period. All right. Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn you jellyfish SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft. Bro, what in the fuck was that? Friends, period. All right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawning jellyfish SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house. You jellyfish SpongeBob in a pineapple house? What the hell was that? Bro, yo, get this nigga the fuck out of here, man. What the fuck was that, man? Let's rob that nigga, man. Yeah, son. <laughs> This is embarrassing, man. This is secondhand cringe. What? Bro, this is. What the fuck is my soul? I stand with my fucking friends. Period. All right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. And piss. Yo, yo. My Bro, do we have to remind you of them pictures, bruh? Like, yo. You... I stand with my fucking friends, period. All right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob in a fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers have been stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to fucking be loyal to my fucking friends. I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave fish. Leave fish. He's all you do. He's all you do. Well, fuck you. All right? Oh, so this is what this is about. Hmm. This is what this is about. It's been lingering in the back of your head. That fresh is just this useless dead weight that can be replaced by two to three drops in any stream deck. What are we doing out here? Is this what it comes down to? So fresh gets some girl pregnant, and now you guys look like a bunch of hypocrites. You guys look like a bunch of unaccountable hypocrites. You're like, oh, fresh, you should leave fresh. What the hell does that have to do with the matter? These guys in their convenient deflections. This is pathetic, man. To my fucking friends, I'm not going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave fish. Leave fish. Here's all you do. Here's all you do. Well, fuck you. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me. Because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and bring... Build residual income coming in every fucking month so I can sit here and tell you fucking haters, fuck you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say, and I don't give a fuck what anybody got to say. I cannot be bought. I have my soul. I have my spine. I have my integrity. I got my ten toes and my two feet, and I fucking stand where the fuck I'm going to stand. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face because I can look in the fucking mirror and be happy with the man that I see, you pussy motherfuckers. You fucking losers that sit there saying, Oh, it's getting rocky, man. You should leave. Why do you stay by Cinco? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're having drunk girls? First is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris tricks too much. Hey, 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 shut the fuck up. That's why no one respects you, motherfucker. Because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People are fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in the fuck. I'm sorry, what was that? going through it. You piece of shit are fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm gonna do because we got the mindset. Bro, ain't you the same bum ass nigga talking about, oh, I'm worth six million dollars? I got 20 real estate 
properties. I cannot be bought. I don't need y'all niggas' money. And now this motherfucker is like, oh, we trying to figure shit out when we demonetize, bro. Who was on crack? Somebody help these guys. Somebody. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mind came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right fucking here. All right? These guys are with me in my darkest times. I'm not going to fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. Emotional damage. Fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. Stop it. Get some help. Fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate, got my money, I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. Bitch, who raised you? Yo, if we don't get this nigga the fuck out of here, let me pull this back 30 seconds and let this shit run through. This is pathetic, bro. You can't be bought, nigga, if you don't shut your dusty ass up and dust it over there and rumble, nigga. If, yo, these guys are... Yo, hold up, man. This is pathetic. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not, I got a pregnant son. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mind came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this... I'm gonna stand by the guys that stand by me. Cause you fucking pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit aren't fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm gonna do because we got the mom said. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking I'm did it. Ah. What the hell? That just ruined the whole damn. How did that happen, man? Hold up, let's wrap this up real quick. Who the hell put that drop on auto? How did that happen? This is some filthy work, Stream Deck. How did you do that? How you doing me like that? You just ruined the whole fucking vibe. How do you do that? How do you do that? What the hell is going on? Shout out to Bridget Mooton with that $10 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. <laughs> Bridget says he acts like a betrayed lover, LOL. Yeah, man, this is some filthy work, man. Like, he thinks this is winning. You call winning. A nigga's nuts in your face. Man, I need to see what you call doing. This is just some real pathetic work, man. He got a woman pregnant, sir. This man's about to burst a blood vessel because he's trying to be unaccountable and he's trying to gaslight the fans and they're not buying it. So he thinks by yelling his yelling and raising his voice, it's going to back down his pussy beta audience and be like, oh my God, no, no, you guys are right. It's like, bro, get that weak shit the fuck out of here. Shout out to MSE, Miss E with the chat pass membership. Ah, oh, God damn it. I'm getting rich. Ah. All right, let's get back into this, man. This is this pathetic performance by this guy. This is the shit I'm fucking there when I'm going through it. You piece of shit are fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do because we got the mom said. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mind came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses three years later believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right fucking here. All right? These guys are with me in my darkest times. I'm not going to fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate. I got my money. I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. That was real. That was real talk. From the heart. Um, w, w. Myron. Uh, you broke the glass. This useless ass nigga. TV. 
Okay. Uh, this no substance ass having nigga. This show is about your allegations, sir. You have nothing to say. Myron leaves the set. Okay, that was real. All right. From the heart. Um, w, w. Myron. Uh, you broke the glass. And maybe the TV. Okay. Um, that was uh. From the heart. Any more chats here before we close out? I mean, that's real talk, man. That's, that's, that's a real friend, man, because uh, when he went through it, we were here. When I go through it, he's here, too, so it's like, it's loyalty, man. Oh, me? Oh, because they're... Yeah, go ahead, Mo. Yeah. Looking for you. This nigga broke the whole glass, bro? Durag Myron says uh, she just constipated. <laughs> Housemaster. Do you see the mental gymnastics that their fan base does to justify them deleting the footage too? Oh, yeah, they just deleted it because they want people to stir up more controversy and react to it and blah, blah, blah. Like, make that make sense, my nigga. You could have left it up on your channel and we would have still reacted to it. It's harder to react to it when you make it unavailable to people when you delete it immediately. You repost the shit with it edited out there. And, oh, god damn, look at these likes. These likes are filthy. Who are these niggas, man? Every time I'm mid-speech, I just take a look at these likes, and it's just pathetic, man. What are we doing out here? Did y'all forget? Or is this show a two-pack of ass? Y'all let me know by doubling down by not hitting the like button or hitting that like button. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. Oh, we got some guilt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, let's get back into this. I forgot the point I was making. This is just pathetic, though, man. This nigga broke the whole glass, bro? Durag Myron says uh, she just constipated. <laughs> Housemaster, fresh plead the fifth and let Chinaman from Myron's Overwatch stream cook the... <laughs> Uh, Observer zero zero hundred dollar change. W Fresh. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. You started off with W Fresh. You know that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> Shout out to Lee with the three month chat pass membership. I'm getting rich. Ah. All right, let's get it. As an Asian man, I am disappointed in her. I am not successful like you guys, but please use this to help fight this case. Love you guys from Wisconsin. James Sexton, please come back. Bro, what case? What are you talking about? As an Asian man, you're disappointed in her? What the hell was that? He's giving you $100 to fight the case. Bro, what are you talking about? It's your responsibilities. You made a child. Oh, well, no, that, that's the one thing that she did that was ridiculously stupid that I will comment on. Like, she's early in her first trimester talking about she's pregnant, she's about to have this child. It's like, ma'am, ma'am. Usually people wait until three months to start saying that publicly to the world and announcing it. Things happen. There's all sorts of miscarriages, ectopic pregnancy. Shit happens. Like, that was just ridiculous of her to do that. But nonetheless, like, that's what you're dealing with, sir. She showed the pregnancy test. She showed the blood samples. If you're going to try to wiggle out of this one, you got to take that shit to Maury, bitch, nigga. But, um... <laughs> Shout out to I love my ad block with the five dollar cat or super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Myron makes LeBron look less corny. LeBron, hey yo, yo, why are you dishing? What the fuck does LeBron have to do with this? Are you in your Stephen A. Smith bag and trying to hate on LeBron, bro? What the hell does LeBron have to do with this? Yo, LeBron better have handled business. Yo, hold up, did they beat the Cavs today? Yo, we're fighting for that playoff position. Hold up, chat. Let me put y'all niggas on break. Basketball more important. All right, my bad, chat. My bad, chat. We will get right back into the show. LeBron, 
Uh, 24 points, 12 assists, 5 rebounds, 10 of 18 from the field, 1 of 5 from 3-point range. Not the greatest 3-point night. But, you know, they won an easy victory. Lakers, we get in this playoff spot, man. Fuck y'all niggas. Y'all niggas be hating like a motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out to Francois with the 8-month membership. I'm getting rich. Francois says, the hell LeBron got to do with fresh and fit? That's what I'm saying, yo. The LeBron haters come and pause. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to defend LeBron because that's what we do out here. These Jordan, these, these Jordashians be trying it, yo. They try, to, they try to spin a narrative and it has nothing to do with the show. But we're we, we going to feed into that real quick for a second and get right back into this. Like, let's get back into this, this, um, this bullshit we reacting to. Thank you, bro. Yeah, he'll be back soon in person for an in-person interview. Damn, nigga, you went in. Take a I mean, <laughs> take a uh, uh, Jason Todd. Jason Todd. Jason Todd says it's obvious. All right, for this to happen, y'all, if y'all want this to actually happen, you know what I'm going to need? This is what I'm going to need. Obvious this girl's lying, but fresh. Be very careful, sell them a dream. It's very dangerous. Law of distraction, 100 dollars You hear that? Jason Todd says it's obvious this girl's lying, but fresh. Be very careful, sell them a dream. It's very dangerous. What are you talking about? It's obvious this girl's lying. She played the recording of the conversation. Did he he did not deny that at all? He did not deny the him being a part of that conversation and the, the the conversation that actually existed. He did not deny the fact that the the pregnancy test and the blood test are real or fake. He did not uh, denounce none of that. He did not debunk it. He just said, "Oh, this girl lying." This is just like what happened to Myron. She just lying. It's like, um, bro, she's supplying evidence, and you're just saying. You brought this phony ass lawyer. I'm not even react to the lawyer part. That was pathetic. You brought this. You know what? Let's get back into this, man. It, it's just it was just so sad. I I I should probably clip a part of what Duke reacted to it because Duke tore that motherfucker to shreds. It was so pathetic what they did. They should probably hide that footage forever. Law of distraction. Hundred. <laughs> I realized Myron is what I was. My old friend Luis. Luis used to make bonehead mistakes, but it was due to daddy issues. The reality is most of us learn on the job, a.k.a. life, sending love to the crew. Mm. Captain Bamalam says, the value Walter and Myron have given me about life in general, this drama pales in comparison to that. I rock with y'all regardless. I don't turn on people that have been a benefit to my life. Rooney says, Myron is a big brother. I never had W lawyer, WFNL. Hmm. Um, um, TX, etc. says, is Sneeko really fresh? His son from the future, Mike Trunks. LOL, fresh. You don't owe these bums an explanation on your personal life. Hmm. You don't owe these bums an explanation on your personal life, but you want to get up there every day, every other day, talking about folks need to be accountable for their actions. These women are delusional. They need to be accountable for their shit, but you don't want to be accountable for any of your things. It's, oh, we're public. Why hold people accountable uh, publicly? But that's the premise of your entire show. But it's only for women. Talking about women dodge accountability, but it seems like for these guys, women are the only people that actually have to face accountability because men are able to dodge it arbitrarily, whenever they want to, at their own discretion. Oh, you're not going to hold a man accountable. You're, you're emasculating a man on air. It's like, bro, what are we doing out here? This is pathetic. Jerome 1997 says, women are inferior and therefore absolved of all responsibility, always in every situation. The most important thing I have learned from Andrew Tate is that as a man, Everything is your fault, WFNL. Withers Code says, you virtual, sig you virtual signaling, piece of ass cheeks facing, <laughs> imp flag wearing, geeks need to sh shut the f up. Don't bang chicks, you don't want to get pregnant. Clown. Can't wait for you. Right there. <sighs> ass cheeks facing, <laughs> imp flag wearing, geeks need to sh shut the f up. Don't bang chicks, you don't want to get pregnant. Clown. Can't wait for you slow Tuesday, every day, mud uffers to get got. 
Emiliano. These no accountability ass niggas. What are you talking about? If you don't want to have it, you hear them on the phone. Oh, I don't want to have any kids, bro. You had a, this. You had a, 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 an act in that. You had a part in that. You had a decision a while ago, and you made the wrong decision. You nutted in her unprotected. So you know what you did. But oh, I don't want any kids, bro. You had control. You had full control over what the hell you were doing, but you want to be unaccountable accountable and make her delete something now. She has to put her body through that and her religious and whatever type of belief she has. Come on, man. No says so many effing simps in the chat. Most of you are believing the girl blaming Fresh without knowing anything. Give them time to fix this and show support. Fresh and Myron, keep your heads up. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. We don't need to know anything. We know they were together. He got her pregnant. He's trying to avoid taking care of the child. She's trying to take on the responsibility. Case closed. All these other deflections, all this shit is fluff. These folks always do this. We dealt with the manosphere and the red pill folks for so long. We know what they do. We know their entire game plan. We know their entire playbook. Deflections and fluff. Let me just add a bunch of shit here that doesn't belong in here and have everybody debating this shit. Why do we care? Why do we care if she's a potential thigh? Why do we care if she's a potential gold digger? You're a grown ass man that doesn't want to be accountable for your decisions. You have full control. Like, make it make sense. Shout out to Lee with that five dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Lee says, "Get the likes up, please." LT, do some good shorts off this video. Thanks for the content. You already know that the part where he snaps is definitely going to be a short. He got caught in 4K. He tried to deny it. He had his fans run over here in the chat section. Trying to revise history. We ain't having that. They deleted it, but it was still on Rumble, and Duke reacted to it the same night. So they got caught in 4K. I've seen him do it. Uh, What happened to this? This ain't popping up. Shout out to Night Jade with the $2 super chat. I'm getting YouTube hating. It's not trying to find your chat, though. Here we go. Fresh filled her with his burning desire. Hey, that's what he keeps doing. <laughs> that bullshit. That's red pill shit. Oh, yeah, she had the burning desire for him. That shit that Rolo be talking about. Shout out to Night J with the $2. I'm getting rich. Ah. Also, in Lee's super chat, she also left the PayPal link. So, y'all make sure that you, um, Abel A says, Tree of Logic looks like a dirty ape. Bro, That's what the line. fuck? <laughs> hey, yo, what the fuck? The rules. Wait, what the fuck was that, yo? And these guys just flippantly laugh at shit like that. This is why I don't fuck with these pussy-ass niggas. This is exactly why I don't fuck with any of these self-hating-ass coons, these fucking colorist pussies. I don't fuck with none of this shit. What the fuck is this? Fort, fresh and Myron, keep your heads up. He just called a black woman a dirty ape for what reason? Abel A says, Tree of Logic looks like a dirty ape. That's that <laughs> linebacker. <laughs> Nigga, she was reaching hard, bro. Who the hell is that? I don't even um, know. I don't know. This man said she was reaching hard. Who was the, who the hell is that? Bro, you know, you know her opinions. You know, you know her enough to insult her. You know, you know her enough to say she was reaching, but then you said, who the hell is that? Man, stop it, man. That's what these guys do, these, these clout warriors. Oh, yeah, I don't know who you are. It's like, bro, stop it. We got so many haters, bro. It's fucking crazy, bro. It's wild. Yeah, Myron was crying on Twitter, going, trying to go back and forth with the things that she was saying when she was exposing them. It's like, bro, what are you talking about? You don't know who she is, bro. What? Come on, I've man. I've seen him do it. These guys are pathetic. Chucky 98. More like, uh, can, can I say yeah, it? No. no. McChucky 98. Um, yo, Fresh, behind you, 100%. All the value you guys have given me, there is no turning back on you guys. Thank you, bro. Cloud Gaming says, I stand with you, Fresh. Myron, love your loyalty to your homeboy, man. City boys be up. City boys be up. So neglecting your child and trying to do the dash on your on your responsibilities is city boys we up. Pathetic. 
Mm -hmm. Um, RT the brand got caught in 4K lying. RT the brand says never heard of her. RT the brand, you were in the chat when I was doing a reaction and I spoke about Tree and you seen Tree's content, so. Stop the cap. It's a total fabrication. I don't know why folks do this, man. I don't know why folks do this. I've seen him do think it. Think I won't call you out, bro? Like I'm running a show, I'm not gonna read the chat. Like I see everything, bro. What are we doing out here? It's a lost, bro. It's it's really a lost. Oh, um, it, it amazes me how um, it's it's just a lost discipline. It's like a lost thing, and and people always say, um, masculinity is dead, right? Like we live in a fucking the lost boy generation. Yeah, I mean. It's not just the, the inability to speak to women or the, you know, people not being in shape or lower testosterone levels. Like, being loyal to your, to your friends, especially your guy friends, is like a masculine trait. Bro, being loyal to your friends, especially your guy friends, is a masculine trait. So what if they're predators? What if they're campaigning for... Women, basically, as long as, you know, age of consent is met and there is, you know consent even before age of consent 16 brother yeah like pretty much you can bang anything right come on out you rapist standing through thick and thin is very important right and that's a lost art too it's like it, it, we've lost masculinity so many other ways that people don't even your friends especially your guy friends is like a masculine trait standing through thick and thin is very important right and that's a lost art too it's like it, it, we've lost masculinity in so many other ways that people don't even realize and what I've noticed Masculinity in so many ways that people don't even realize it right there, Oh my god, bro. Is dick riding all you do? No, I'm like, You literally got that nigga dick in your mouth right now. I see it Stick together mm -hmm. Pause. Now I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this I'm gonna have to pull up the zesty file that we have on Myron when it comes to his zesty past with his uh, openly gay friend where he was caught in in the bed with that guy multiple times, locked arms. Uh, hold up. As I find this, let me give y'all the disclaimer so y'all know ahead of time. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is gay. All right, chat. All right, yeah, I, I can't, I can't find it right now. Give me, I'll, give me a second while we play this and we react to this, and then and I'll find it. I don't even want to look at these pictures again, man. I've had, I have it in a video. It has 10k views. Can y'all watch that if y'all haven't seen that already? I don't even want to bring back these the zesty file on Myron. It's, it's pathetic. He's talking about masculinity and men can't even do X, Y, and Z anymore. It's like, bro, you're, you're not, you're not the person to be speaking about this, bro. Sit this one out. Sit this one out, man. It's like a masculine trait. Standing through thick and thin is very important, right? And that's a lost art too. It's like, hey, yo, that that was a pause that stick together. Mm -hmm. Pause. Like being loyal to your to your friends, especially your guy friends, is like a masculine trait. Standing through thick and thin is very important, right? This goddamn. Bye, Shout out to I love my ad block with the five dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. The brother looks like Pug on Men in Black, and she let him smash. Her mind is gone. Jesus Christ. God, hey. Shout out to I Love My Ad Block. W's in the chat for everybody that dropped a super chat, cash app, PayPal, or any other such. I forgot to do the W's in the chat, y'all. <laughs> that is a W for I Love My Ad. I love my ad block. W's for Night Jade. W. What the fuck did I just click? Hey, yo. Come on, man. W's for Night Jade. W's for Lee. W's for my love my ad block. Once again, Bridget, Mr. G, everybody. Everybody getting W's in the chat, y'all. All right, let's get back into this, though. And that's a lost art, too. It's like it, it, we've lost masculinity in so many other ways that people don't even realize. And what I've noticed. <clears throat> especially from coming into like this world, the entertainment world, et cetera, from coming from a law enforcement background, loyalty is a foreign concept. Like it's like, oh, it's like a- No integrity. It's, there's no integrity. And it's like, t like the profession I- You can't say loyalty is a f uh, foreign, uh, foreign concept and say no integrity and then stand by everything that has no integrity. At some point, you're loyal. That's why they say loyalty to a fault and they say that and he doesn't want to hear it. That is to a fault because that's no longer loyalty. Now you're disloyal to yourself. You're disloyal to your own principle, standards, and integrity if you have any, but I don't think you got any. So that's why it's so easy for you to say this and stand, stand next to these folks. I won't. 
Y'all see me dropping folks right, left, and center out this bitch. Because I don't care. If you're not going to stand on anything, it's like, I don't know you, nigga. You from the internet. We're trying to align on certain principles and standards and whatever the fuck we're trying to align on. I don't align on, oh, you got numbers. Let me let me cozy up to this motherfucker. He has numbers. Let me ride this bandwagon. He, he got numbers. If that was the case, I would have been trying to do that whole destiny wing that I had access to this entire time. But I seen that and I'm like, nope, we ain't doing that. Shout out to Untitled with the $2 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Untitled says you give child support now. Hey, yo. Ah. Hey, yo. I didn't read that with the accent that, yo. Yo, this is a thing. Fresh is the person that makes the most racist jokes when it comes to the Asian community. He's always calling women linglings and all sorts of shit like that. So the fact that he's in this situation, it's like, bro, what the hell is going on? And did she not do her due diligence on who the hell Fresh was? But I guess that's where she aligned. I'm not going to judge her character and try to break apart who the hell she is as a person because at the end of the day, I don't care. That has nothing to do with nothing. Everything has to do with Fresh and Myron being unaccountable hypocrites and trying to avoid the responsibilities. This is what it comes down to. And she's going to be coming back in a few months like... from right as you guys know i used to work for the law enforcement like you're hitting the door with somebody like this is you can literally both die going in you needed to trust the guy that you were going into the house with so like whether you liked each other or not there was that level of respect and that level of like oh yo i'm loyal to you because we can fucking die together and like the fact that i exhibit this trait and people look at me like bro niggas do that shit in the streets all the time they in shootouts with the ops. They got to trust their nigga. That same nigga snitching on them at the end of the day. What are we talking about? The hell are we talking about? <laughs> it's like, these examples are just so, like, I don't even know, man. I'm crazy. It tells me, like, what the fuck is going on? But then I look. Who are these people usually that that look at me like I'm a foreign in, individual when I say to be loyal? Triple chin, fat, obese, Look like fucking shit. <laughs> you know? You're saying triple chin, fat, obese, X, Y, and Z. Fresh has been claiming he lost the same 30 pounds for the past three and a half years. Don't quote me on that because I don't even know if they've been relevant for that long. But he's been saying that for a long time. This nigga gained weight, if anything. Fre Fresh is, he, he forces y'all to be visible hypocrites. He goes against everything y'all stand against, uh, stand uh, on, or allegedly stand on. But then he's just there conveniently, fucking everything up. Just fat as shit, getting these girls pregnant, being unaccountable. Offers no type of insight on the mic whatsoever. I said it many times, he can be replaced by two to three drops at best. It's pathetic. No, no fucking bass in their voice. Haven't accomplished shit in their fucking life. Yeah. Fucking losers, right? You go to the gym with them, they do two sets. Oh, it hurts, I don't know if I can do this anymore. They're fucking soft. And then it... Myron got caught in 4K saying he works out for the aesthetics. He says some folks work out for the functional strength. I work out for the aesthetics. I work out so it makes it so it, it looks like I'm strong. I heard that and I was like, this nigga speaking a foreign language. What do you mean you, you work out for the aesthetic? The look. I'm like, what the f So you're, you're, you're on that bullshit looks maxing bullshit? This is pathetic, bro. This is so pathetic. I, I can't do reactions to these guys anymore. It's just so damn pathetic. It, it never fails. That's why you're where you're at. Guys, if you're broke or you're fat, Wait, et cetera, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Shout out to un Untitled with the $5 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. He, he said, Untitled says, she said, we don't kill, but her country got a one child policy and eject girls. That's what she said? You know, I uploaded that entire um, soliloquy she went on on that IG live. I did my little editing and I upload that shit. I didn't watch that entire hour of her speaking. To me, I didn't care. I'm going to keep it a stack. I didn't care. I'm like, what does this have to do with anything? As soon as I seen her substantiate the claims of, oh, she's actually pregnant. Here's the blood work. Here's the pregnancy test. Fresh is the, the, the phone call. 
where they actually had the phone call and Fresh just confirmed that it was his and he's like, oh, I don't want to have kids X, Y, and Z. At that point, I'm like, okay, that's all I need to know. They're trying to muddy her character. Oh, she's this, she's that. I'm like, bro, we don't care. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you something. <laughs> that has nothing to do with nothing. A, a month ago, y'all were talking about, oh, she's rich. She has a rich family. She's not an IG thought. She's a proper girl. She's X, Y, and Z. The second you get you get her pregnant, she's a thought. She's dusty. She's a gold digger. She's all this bullshit. And it's like, bro, make it make sense, man. Whatever the whatever narrative is convenient for y'all, y'all will run with. So we're supposed to buy that. Come on, man. Because you're broken, you're fat. It's an outward manifestation of your personality and your fucking character. That's something that's missing nowadays. No fucking character. People sell you out for a... Now, the irony of somebody with no character getting up on a platform talking about folks have no character. This happens commonly on YouTube. Folks steal my talking points when I talk about character and it aligns. Because the thing is, it shows. Folks act like they hide in the open. Your activity shows. Everything is is recorded on this platform. It stays here unless you're a coward that deletes it all the time like these manosphere bums. What the hell was that? Outside of that, it's like... You could say one thing, your actions show another thing. The thing, the people you align with, the thoughts that you propagate. And, c come on, man. People really think they're hiding in the open. It's pathetic. Fucking dollar if they can do it. And I'm talking about a lot of these fucking YouTubers that ran to the fucking gun to go ahead and make a hit piece immediately without knowing all the facts. Yeah. But that's that's what it is. That's in 2024 and beyond. There's none of this shit. Like it's just, it's just like, we're, yeah, bro, yeah, woo, loyalty, fuck that shit. It's almost like hashtag believe all women. Whatever. Over again. It's all good. Bro, what the fuck? <clears throat> Uh, believe all women, bro. We're trying to believe the facts and the details. She recorded your ass. You're just you're mad at the fact that she recorded you instead of looking at the details that the, the audience has to deal with with the recording. We could look at it and be like, oh, that's foul. She recorded you against your will, X, Y, and Z. You can make that argument, but we're looking at the details and the facts, and that's what people are talking about. We're looking at the blood test and the pregnancy test along with the phone call that substantiate that you guys made a child, and now you're trying to escape accountability. They're talking about she's a thought. She's X, Y, and Z. She's, she's embellishing the length of their relationship. She's talking about she was in love. She was tricked. She was X, Y, and Z. She was overly invested. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, we don't care. All of that shit is irrelevant. They're really trying to make some sort of justification and some deflection out of, oh, you were only together for a month. She wanted some money. She wanted to move in. Bro, it didn't matter. If you could have met a girl at the club one night, one night stand, smashed her. You got her pregnant. She shows that you're actually the father. This is the DNA test. This is, I'm actually, whatever the fuck she did to substantiate it, to show the proof. That's your responsibility. This is why the community is so goddamn dusty. They're trying to focus on, oh, I didn't love the girl. Oh, we, we weren't building a family together, so I don't got to be there for the kid. I don't need to pay child support. It's like, bro, what are we doing out here? It's pathetic. Regardless of what the relation is, you made the baby, that's your child. You have to take care of it. Figure it out. Co-parent, do something. Child support, do something. Fuck, nigga. What's wrong with these guys? Man, fighting sims everywhere, bro. And the fact that I can't believe it, even... Four years after the fact, people still sit there and rally and say, bar leave fresh, fresh, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I can't fucking believe that y'all still say this shit. Yeah. Like, what, what? Do I look like fucking Abba? Do I look like I like to get milk and I go ahead and turn, All four, turn around? Yeah, turn around and switch up on people? Do I look like that? Do I look. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, yo, what the hell is he talking about? Milk? What, what the fuck was that? Hold up. Shout out to I Love My Ad Block with the $5 super chat. I'm getting rich. Let me just, um, yeah. I love my ad block says, wear a damn condom. Spelled the wear wrong, but you know, we corrected that real simply for you. It's the wrong version of wear, but shout out to you with the $5 super chat. W's, W's in the chat for, um, I love my ad block. Yo, I'm an asshole. Why do I do that? I could have left that shit alone. Shout out to Elevate and Explore with the five dollar super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. She is part Filipina, not Chinese. They don't delete kids in the Philippines. This is about her baby, not her character. Well, shout out to you. 
with the five dollar super chat. I don't. I didn't listen to her story when it comes to her background. I thought she said she was Chinese from Shang. I, I can't even remember what the hell she said. But yeah, shout out to you with the five dollar super chat. And someone said, "Nah, Abba Fruity too." Yeah, I, I called out Abba for that 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 zesty milking, whatever the fuck he was describing. It, it, it sounded like some zesty shit. There ain't no favorites out here, man. We just call it how we see it. It sounded like some zesty shit to me. It sounded like he was on fours and she was doing something to his anal region pause. And then she was, I, I don't know. The way they described it, it sounded pretty zesty. They're trying to justify it because it's a, it's a sexual act with a woman. But if you're getting pegged by a woman, I'm not saying he was getting pegged. I'm using this as an example. If you were getting pegged by a woman, the shit is still zesty. You guys can do all the mental gymnastics y'all want to do. If a woman straps on and you're bending over and you're getting pegged, pause, pause, Who the oh, my God. pause, stick together, pause, he knows he can have it, pause, you see what I do when I got the rock, pause, let me just put this in real quick, this is pause. Daniel, by the way. now with all of that descript, all of those descriptors and me consistently saying pause, that was zesty bro, the description of that act is zesty. Don't do the mental gymnastics and be like, oh, it's a sexual act with a girl. That shit's zesty, bro. That shit is zesty. No diddy, man. No diddy. Yeah. Like, what, what? Do I look like fucking Abba? Do I look like I like to get milk and I go ahead and turn, All fours. turn around? Yeah, turn around and switch up on people? Do I look like that? Do I look like someone that will go into someone's house and then do some backstab bullshit like that for a dollar? Do I look like that fucking ass clown? I don't think so. All right? Yeah. Might be from the same part of the world, but we got different mindsets. Completely different mindsets. He's a pussy, I'm not. I stand by my friends, he doesn't. Oh, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said you're not a pussy. Come on, man. You scared. You pussy. Sorry, you pussy. Don't be pussy. Bro, you're still you're still ducking the smoke and the one-on-one -on -one fade with preach, but you're saying you're not pussy? You scared. You pussy. Sorry, you pussy. Don't be pussy. We're not having that, man. We're not having that. Revisionist history in its finest, man. Come on, man. Myron does not stand on no goddamn business, man. He's ducking fades out here. This man's pulling a he's pulling a King Riches out here. He's just ducking fades. Pulling a Saint the Sinner out here. Just ducking fades. It's just pathetic, man. Alright? So guys, like I said before. If there's one thing you learned from this podcast, you guys have seen all the bullshit that we've been through. You guys want to know why we're successful and we keep fucking pushing through? Because we stick together, man. We don't give up. That's why. We stick together, and you guys can say whatever the fuck you guys want to say about Fresh, about Mo, about Bills, about Chris, or whatever. They're with us during the darkest times, bro. Yep. And that's why we're still here giving y'all the content that we're giving y'all. That's why we've been able to go strong. All right, hold up. We, we're going to address this once and for all, man. I don't know what the fuck milking is, man. This shit just sounded zesty. It sounded like he was getting fingered and she was doing some shit. It sounded weird, man. I don't want to revisit this, but y'all keep doing this shit, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gah! <sighs> YH and ABBA had the nerve to shame one of his fans for eating and staring asses. Wait, wait, st starring? Was staring at? What the hell? While he's getting milked, which is different than pegging, milking is like massaging, to be honest. Massaging what, though? Massaging what? Man, we out of here. We ain't talking about this anymore. I made my judgment on that. That shit sounded zesty. Y'all can have your own opinions. I don't care. Let's get back into it. Bro, most YouTubers, you get... No, it's, that's not what it is. No, that's not... That's, that's just... What are we talking about? No. It, no, no. You're making me spend more time here. You're making me spend more time here. The woman strokes the Johnson. That's milking, sir. No, that's a basic strokey. That's a basic hand job. Why are we going to give it thousands of names? That's milking? No. He was on all fours. Something else was happening. Do we have to revisit the footage? Why do y'all do this? The mental gymnastics for the people y'all are fans of. Like, the shit was zesty, man. Massaging the prostate. She was doing some shit with her fingers in his, in his rectal, his anal, anal region, man. The shit was filthy. It was... Man, no, I, this I nigga gay as hell. Y'all, what what do y'all do, man? Like, I don't I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But who the hell cares, man? Let's get back into this, man. I think most YouTubers would be around uh, almost a year after the fact that they got demonetized. No, they'd be gone. They'd be fucking gone. The fact that we've still been able to give y'all content, and not only I give y'all fucking bangers, give y'all 
amazing shit. We had so many guests come on. So many guests come on. We've had banger guests. We had Andrew Tate, Tristan Tate, Candace Owens, Andrew Wilson, Jake Shields, um, Rampage Jackson, Jake Rampage Jackson. Uh, uh, fuck, man. Just so many, I can't even... TK, Academics. TK Kirkland was just here. Academics. Like, bro, like, we've brought so many people in in the past, like, couple of months. Uh, in 2024, everyone's like, oh, Friendship Fit's gonna fall off it's in 2024. Off. <laughs> We're gonna fall off. Fuck out of here, man. We began fucking better and better and better. Bro, y'all had TK Kirkland on your show and nobody knew. That shit did, like, 60-some-odd thousand views on a platform that big with TK Kirkland. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. What are we talking about? They never fell off. They're on Rumble. They're on Rumble. Do you know how much total earnings I made on my Rumble account? It is so goddamn dusty over there. Goddamn. Better giving you on IRL streams, etc. Mm -hmm. We've just made the content better. New studio, etc. Everyone thought we were down for the count. We got demonetized. We're fucking here. You guys want to know why we're here? Because we stick together with the people that we came in with. That's why. When you're loyal to people, they're loyal to you. Like I told y'all before, Destiny didn't have to fucking do that shit. But why did he do that shit? Because like, damn, Fresh Foot stood by me, even though we're not friends, but they didn't fucking attack me while I was down. So you know what? I'm going to fucking shit on this girl for them. Nah, the, he, he did the same shit because he's in his red pill rage from what happened with him and his woman. Let's be real. He got cucked. These guys choose women that they know that are going to have this. They, they know they're going to get a certain result from these women. And then they get with the women and they try to change them and do their little weird thing on their feminine imperative. And then they, they come back crying to us like we're supposed to give a fuck. Like you guys are preaching to the folks that this girl is a red flag. Don't fuck with these type of girls. You're going to have these type of outcomes. And then you do said thing and have these type of outcomes. And we're supposed to care. Crying to me. And I'm not having that. Make it make sense. These guys talk about, oh, we don't dabble in the, in the dark because we will have problems because black women are X, Y, and Z. These guys deal with all the, with, with, with the black women called the preferences, and all of a sudden they're filled with all sorts of drama and all sorts of headache, but they want to point everything at black women and say, oh, black women are the problem. It's like what I say to the passport bros. Wherever you go, there you are, dusting it up. Still you. Go to another community, you're still you. You got to take your dusty ass there. Now you're trying to be a negligent father when you're interracial dating. But it's the black women's fault, huh? We got Tom. Any other questions? But that's what happens because integrity is so goddamn rare that when you actually do get it, people are like, God damn, I respect this shit. Yo, they didn't kick me, when I, they didn't kick me while I was down for some views like everyone else fucking did. Yeah. Guys, I'm telling y'all, man. Maybe you're not a loyal person right now watching the show. Maybe you're not someone that has that integrity. Maybe you're a guy that fucking flows with the wind, right? And you're not able to maintain friendships. People don't respect you, whatever. Bro, practice going against the grain. Practice being that guy that people can trust. No. Practice going against the grain. Practice being the guy that people can trust. We can't trust you all at all. We can't trust y'all at all. Hold up. I want to get to this chat real quick. Somebody tried it. I think it was RT the brand. RT the brand steady. He'd be steady trying it. Hold up. He tried it. They don't like ghetto black women. Okay, so this is a thing. This is what I've done on this platform, if y'all haven't realized. I've had my thoughts. I've seen everything. I'm like, yeah, these guys are dweebs. Revenge of the nerds. Pussy ass nigga. Dweeb ass nigga. Didn't get no girls. Red pill rage. He's dusty. X, Y, and Z. I've made my prognostications from the jump. I said what I said about the manosphere. I said what I said about the passport bros. They're like, oh, no, you're just hating. You're just hating. Get to know each other. Get to know these guys. So what I've done is I've ingratiated myself with these communities. I've heard these people out. I've heard their talking points ad nauseum. And I came back to the same conclusion. Dusty, incel, nerd, dweeb, revenge of the nerds. Same shit. The same shit. So as y'all try to gaslight and say, oh, they don't like ghetto black women. They don't like black women. They're, they're, they're racist against their own kind. They're, they're self-hate self-hating against their own kind they're colorist folks they're all of that shit i entertained that and i tried to give them the grace it's it's in a video i reacted to it it's still on my channel where they were calling them sambos or whatever like two years ago and i was like no 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 they were talking about the women. i gave them grace i entertained the shit i'm caught in 4k on my channel i seen me do it I've seen him do so it. as I give these, they try to gaslight folks all the time. I give y'all grace. I entertain your thoughts. I don't gaslight y'all. I, I listen thoroughly, and then I come to the same conclusion. Y'all are full of shit. Y'all are trying to spin narratives because y'all are dusting it the fuck up. 
Shout out to Omni Design Studio with the big $20 super chat. Y'all put some W's in the chat for Omni Design Studio. The ship is sinking. It's about time people see fresh and fraud for what they are. Frauds. These guys really have no money. They are not respected by women at all. They pay for play. They are not high value men at all. Facts. W for Omni Design Studio. Jesus Christ. That's facts. You heard his, the woman that he got pregnant talking about, oh, yeah, I had better options. I had way better options. I don't need to trap you. Although she ended up with him and she wants to keep the baby and she wants to be with him. So God, there's that. But, you know, she, she just flippantly disrespects the man because they don't, she don't, he doesn't garner that type of respect. These guys, especially men in the manosphere in the red pill space, they're just crying because they want this participation trophy for all men, trying to rest on the laurels of other men. Oh, men have built society. Let's go back to 1540, da 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 When men, it was like, bro, we're in 2024. What have you done, nigga? You as a man, what type of respect have you earned on your own twos? Trying to be like, oh, men have done this historically and men are doing these hard jobs. What the fuck are you doing? What type of respect have you earned? They want this participation trophy ass respect. Respect is earned, not given. If you ain't got none, that's your fault. Live with it. Weak ass niggas, man. <laughs> Shout out to Lee with the $2 super chat. I'm getting Lee said, had to run to Pearl for help with daddy, money, and connections. That's facts. The ship was sinking. They had to run to Pearl. That's how you know it was so bad. Oh, no, we forgive Pearl all of a sudden after y'all were cooking Pearl. Because money was that bad. Pearl was renting the studio. Pearl's money was renting the studio. Damn. Damn. Practice being that guy that people can rely on. He tells you something and says, bro, don't say nothing. You want to be that motherfucker. No one ever heard it. You know how many times people say, yo, don't tell nobody this, blah, blah, blah. Cool. They, it dies with me. And then they never hear it again. And then they're like, yo, I'm going to tell you something, yo, et cetera. Hey, I'm going to tell you this. Like, yo, don't tell nobody. I'm like, bro, when's the last time you heard something that you told me again? And they're like, actually, you're right. Yeah. Shit like that is what I pride myself on. People tell me shit, bro. I told y'all. Oh, hold up. I didn't even see Flora in the chat. I said I seen everything. I guess that was Cap. Yeah. Shout out to Flora. See, Flora ain't playing that shit anymore. I said, I, I, even, I said a while ago, I'm like, I'm not back in Flora until I see Flora not show up at that Predator's channel. Flora has not. They've been trying to spin narratives. Shout out to Flora. Flora's been putting out content, long live streams. Flora, don't, don't think your work has gone unnoticed. You are definitely stepping it up on the platform. Shout out to you, Flora. Arab told me himself he was fucking kidnapped and he said, don't say nothing. All right. Y'all heard it? Y'all didn't hear it, did you? You heard that when he announced it on Twitter? But that little shit like that, guys, is so important, man. And this isn't a podcast about me telling y'all how to develop masculine traits, etc. But I'm just telling y'all, man, if you have these traits, it's fucking respected because it's so goddamn rare nowadays, man. I mean, even in public, walking into rooms, when you have that respect, you walk in, people show you homage. That's why Miami, we're good. Yeah. And wherever we go. So, yeah. Uh, did, you, did you break the TV? <laughs> this nigga, did you break the TV? Yeah, there's a line between the TV now. This nigga went crazy. It's fine though. Yeah, what's up? What's about the Punisher Cup? I got another one. This Punisher Cup is gone. I punished the Punisher Cup. What's the other Cup is gone, bro? Punisher says, "Hey, yo, Myron, love you, bro, but you owe me some money for breaking my damn mug." I take Zell PayPal and personal checks. <laughs> he punish your cup. He punish your punish your cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's pathetic, man. You're trying to celebrate that. You couldn't control your emotions to the point where you broke your Punisher cup, and now you're trying to celebrate that. But these women, they're so emotional, they can't handle themselves on the podcast. But you, come on, man. Give me a second to that, these chats, yeah, that is love, though, man. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, my For God. real. Yeah. That one really gave me a tear, bro. That one really... That, that one actually made me cry. I was like, yeah, funny, you man. drink some water? No, he put a cup, crash a cup. Yeah, funny, man. <laughs> okay. Hold on one second. Uh, yeah. Frank, Frank Castle, Castle, for real. 
Holy. Jay's already ordering another one as we speak. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. the Jay from, um... Yeah, yeah, man, just so y'all know, guys, like, real talk, man, I had a conversation with Fresh about this shit off yeah. air, man. Like, I'm not gonna Trust fucking me. sit here. He should be out. Trust me. Like, Trust me. we already had... Hey, yo, what? Stick together. Mm -hmm. Pause. He knows he can have it. Pause. You see what I do when I got the rock. Pause. Let me just put this in real quick. This Pause. Pause. These guys are a bunch of cowards. Oh, he could, we spoke to him off air and blah, blah, blah. So you cook all the women, guests, and whoever the hell you want to when you're speaking about any given topic any day of the week. You can cook anybody, hold them accountable on air, but when it comes to your friends, oh, no, I talked to him off air. There's no need to call them out and hold them accountable and hold them to any type of standard that we're trying to hold y'all to. And we're trying to talk to down to y'all, but you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to shield this motherfucker. It's like, bro, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. This conversation, man, and I know y'all are like, yo, who's accountable? Trust me, man, behind the scenes, like, it, it, yo, man, it, like, it, it's, it's done. He's, he's not going to do some sh dumb shit like this ever again, bro. You know what yeah. I mean? It is what it is. Like, we talked about it off air, and, you know, and, and, and I've made mistakes too, of course, and he's talked to me on the side as well, right? And, and like, but I don't think, uh, I genuinely don't believe that those conversations are to be had on the internet. I think that should be done behind closed doors. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Like, you don't need to make, a, make it a fucking spectacle. Like, if I really care about you and I'm going to have a conversation with you where I care about your self-interest, why am I going to do it in front of a camera? So basically, translation, what Myron said is that every person that gets up on his platform, on his panel, that he tries to hold accountable and tell them about their life, their decisions, their their future, their delusional, uh, their delusion by pulling out the delusional calendar or calculator that they have. They they talking about oh we have this thing that's so great the delusional calculator where we can see how delusional these women are and we can do it down to a percentage and blah blah blah. So you're telling me all those people that come on your platform you have. No interest in their best interest. You don't give a fuck about them. You don't want to see the betterment of them, but that's why you can hold them accountable. And the second you care about somebody, you want to see the best for them, you care about their best interest, you don't hold them on accountable on air. So you just exposed yourself. Like, what the hell is this? Worse. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Like, you don't need to make, a, make it a fucking... I really don't believe that those conversations are to be had on the internet. I think that should be done behind closed doors. Yeah. Um, Listen to this, y'all. That's it. Like, you don't need to make a, make it a fucking spectacle. Like, if I really care about you and I'm going to have a conversation with you where I care about your self-interest, why am I going to do it in front of a camera? Mm. Like, that's a big mm. red flag. Like, yo, that's a big red flag if someone's mm. trying to hold you accountable in front of a camera. That's true. That's weird, bro. That's All weird. Because right. how can you actually have a genuine, fruitful conversation in front of a camera? Because we're all men here. We all don't want to back down or look crazy oh. or get you uh, emasculated on camera. Like, like, yeah. like, the, listen to yourselves when you say this stupid shit. You hold them accountable on camera. That tells me you haven't lived life for real. So what is the purpose of their show? What is the purpose of holding the callers accountable? What is the purpose of holding the guest and the women accountable? What is the purpose of anything that you guys spew? If you can't do that on your show when it comes to your, 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 your co-host. You can do it to your guest. You can do it to any woman that comes up on your panel. But for your co-host, uh, for some reason, that that's that's wrong. We didn't live life. If we like, what? This is the most dog shit ass explanation, and it gets worse, y'all, because they dig themselves into a ditch that they can't get out of. Watch this, man. That tells me you haven't lived life for real. For real, I'll give you guys a fucking example. I remember one time I was a team leader on a, on a on a takedown, right? On a, on a fucking house, and one of the agents fucked up. They didn't do something properly, right? Instead of shitting on him in front of everybody, right, and making him look crazy, I said, hey, can I talk to you for a second? I pulled him to the side and I told him, hey, man, don't do that. Do X, Y, Z instead. He's a new agent. Why am I going to fucking chew him out in front of everybody? But, see, that's just a life skill that you learn from being a real individual and, like, working a real job and dealing with people normally. You don't ever shit on people publicly. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that, right? Obviously, when we're on the internet here and you guys call in and ask your questions, cool. That's different, right? You guys are calling in and you know that you're going to get roasted sometimes publicly. But here's the beauty. It's anonymous. Nobody knows who you are. You're calling. Now, this is horseshit. It's a total fabrication. This is horseshit. It's not anonymous. Whenever they give an opinion that you don't like and they're holding you to the shit like the guy that called out fresh. 
Oh, what's your Instagram profile? What do you guys look like? Oh, you guys want to talk that shit? What do you guys look like? And then you guys pull up their Instagram and you guys roast them. What type of lies are these? If anybody hasn't watched the show, they can try to finesse these type of lies. But when you watch their show at least once because it's a lot of copy and paste, they do the same shit every damn day. You know, this is this is horse shit. This is absolute horse shit. And what about the women on your show then? You're just trying to conveniently eliminate them from the equation? Let's call in and ask your questions. Cool. That's different, right? You guys are calling in and you know that you're going to get roasted sometimes publicly. But here's the beauty. It's anonymous. Nobody knows who you are. You're calling in. Yeah. It's fine, right? He didn't even say anonymous right because you know it was a goddamn lie. When you're shitting on someone publicly, right, it just doesn't work most of the time, guys. So for yeah. you guys to sit there, <laughs> who's the first cannibal? <laughs> Bro, we have our conversations behind the scenes. Trust me. There's a big, why do you think he's going to the gym and he's been doing All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this part right here. Uno momento, por favor. And work some magic real quick. Um, hold up, y'all. Right? It just doesn't work most of the time, guys. So for you guys to sit through, <laughs> nobody knows who you are. You're calling in. Yeah. It's fine, right? But when you're shitting on someone publicly, right? It just doesn't work most of the time, guys. All right. Yeah. All right, we got it. So for you guys to sit there, who's the you cannibal? Bro, we have our conversations behind the scenes. Trust me. There's a big, why do you think he's going to the... Now, anytime they try that bullshit, I'm going to keep playing that drop. These guys are full of shit. You try to hold somebody accountable publicly, it doesn't work, huh? It's only It doesn't work conveniently when it's you guys. So you try to just deflect and get the smoke off of you. He got a woman pregnant, and now he's trying to be an absentee father. He's trying to run. He's trying to do the dash on the baby. He's trying to get her to delete it. He's trying to be unaccountable. So we can't point that out. We can't call that out. Jim, and he's been doing speech therapy. We talked about this shit. All right? So. I'm sorry. Did he say he was going to the gym? Why do you guys keep trying to get that lie off? You know, people can say whatever. Oh, well, first was, oh, his speech still sucks. But, bro, watch a podcast from four years ago, and you won't understand nothing this nigga's saying. That's a fact. That was terrible. You know? But hey, man, we live and we learn, you know? Yeah. It's, uh... So it is what it is, man. I, I've always thought that was very weird and goofy that some of y'all be in the chest saying, hold him accountable, Myron. Yeah, I already did. We already had a very long conversation about this. Now, this is true. You don't have to shit on someone when you're holding them accountable. You don't have to, but you have to point out the shit that they've done and try to correct the actions. Or let, not correct the actions. Allow them to correct the actions. Because that's what it really comes down to. You can't force anybody to do anything. All you got to do is point out what they're doing and how it reflects on them and their speech. You don't get brag. You don't get shit talking rights or any room to brag when you're living dusty. When you are beneath the people that you are trying to be condescending to, you look goofy. You look goofy. It doesn't work. So it's like you got to make sure your shit is in order, your shit is aligned, and then you could speak. Because and, and, nobody, nobody on this, pla on this platform is the arbitrator of truth. It's not, oh, he said it, it's stamped, it's, it's, it's confirmed, it, it, dictatorship type shit. No. You, gotta, you have to get the, the, you have to make arguments. You got to get uh, merit based off of the arguments, the strength of the arguments that you make. And substantiate it with actions as well if you're going to be a representation of the arguments you make. But when you are the absolute inverse of the, the arguments you make, what you're presenting to the, to the world is absolute op uh, opposite. It looks like you are a massive hypocrite. Nobody wants to hear that shit from you. I don't know why that doesn't register to folks. Shit earlier today. Yeah. All right. So, anyway. Here's what it is, man. Yeah, what's up next? No, hold on, let's All right. Sorry for smashing well, teams, bro. Goddamn, man. It's fine. <laughs> know your value. Uh, fresh, keep your effing mouth shut. Don't be emotional, like a 304. Is he logical? Every step of the way. Hundred dollars from Castle Club. I want to say so much right now. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, Marpheus, we love you guys. You're not alone. Appreciate that, bro. Uh, Demi Mario Loyalty Fresh. I understand you want to speak, but if you talk, I will show up to the live. <laughs> Uh, in my semi truck and personally <laughs> apply a belt to ass. Now nah, I'm a frill though. Love you guys. Yeah, and notice how the people that really rock with us are saying shut up, but the people that don't give a fuck are saying no, nah, bro. Like what are you, uh, L L lawyer? Uh. Like, like yo, like, it's, it's just crazy. Like people don't give a fuck. Like they really shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. And then also, quick shout out to. De 
Okay, so that was that was a pre-edit. See, I was about to click that button, but that was a pre-edit. I knew I knew to do that. Cause that that was ridiculous. Like, what are we talking about, sir? The fuck was that? It's, it's just crazy. Like, people don't give a fuck. Like, they really. They acted as if. No, no, I'm not gonna play that again. Okay, we're gonna get into media. To, we're gonna get into this dusty ass video. Um. Fresh and Fit were acting as if Fresh was dealing with a criminal case and his lawyer directed him to not say anything pertaining to the case because it can muddy up the facts of the case and he's facing prosecution. That's what it seems like, the way they're acting. Bro, you got a woman pregnant. You can... What... He's trying to act like his words can be held against him in some type of way. It could only be held against you if you're trying to avoid parenthood if you're saying all sorts of shit that can be used against you for somebody that doesn't want to actually be a part of your child's life and it could be reflected negatively that's the only thing that because if she actually has the child and you're saying all these things and your child grows up hearing all these things outside of that you're trying to act like there's legal ramifications oh if you say the wrong thing she's going to get you on the hook for child support bro you're already accountable for that child support there's no there's no finesse in that you're going to have to face your responsibility. So I don't even understand what the hell they're talking about. Oh, you can't say anything because they're like, what the fuck, bro? You're not facing jail time. You're facing a baby, bro. These unaccountable dweebs. Let's get into this one. Pause. Super pause. To Destiny, who I've been critical on this channel before, specific to his divorce and the lifestyle that he lived. Nevertheless, Destiny had the opportunity to grill this lovely young lady. And it was a train wreck. Without further ado, do you see the focus that he he's okay? So fresh, this is what happens. All right, let me let me paint the narrative for y'all. Fresh gets an Asian woman pregnant. He tells said Asian woman, "Look, I don't want to have no kids. I'm not ready for no kids." Being unaccountable for his actions, this motherfucker comes in his focus. His focus on the show is, "Oh, look, at Destiny. Destiny's cooking this 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 304. Like what?" Bro, are you just scoffing? Are you just glossing past the fact that this guy's being an unaccountable, dusty ass, deadbeat ass nigga? What are we talking about? So, a Discord conversation is being held between the cast of characters at the bottom, including Fresh's future baby mama. Destiny is currently on mute while they ask some questions, but he's getting ready to get off mute here in a quick second. Let's listen. But pay attention when Destiny comes in <laughs> like a wrecking ball. Let's go. Oh, fuck no. Fuck. Oh, this is way too corny, man. Fuck this shit, man. That's all, folks. Bro, I hate this nigga, man. This nigga is so fucking annoying. I hate, yo, this is so cringe, man. Y'all yo, yo don't even understand, man. Y'all y'all have no idea. This nigga annoys the fuck out of me. When he popped up in Duke's chat... And they're like, oh, WMTR, and I was there just like, yeah, we have to participate in this shit. I was like, fuck, man. I just wanted to get in my hater bag. I was like, yo, if you don't get this dusty-ass nigga the fuck out of here. All right, let's get into this, man. Daisy, the reason I know you're not about about for money is because you went 50-50 on that bracelet, okay? Yes, a woman, A woman who was for money would never go 50-50 on that bracelet. And I bought my own ticket to Miami. <laughs> Child. First time I went to my, I bought my own ticket, and I know he buys tickets for other girls, but I never asked him like, "Can you buy me a ticket?" For me, that's like so cheap, you know, just like two hundred dollars or what. Like, cause I'm, I'm really in love with the person, so I didn't even care about the money. The reason why he bought me the bracelet because he bought me a fucking fake bracelet. Yeah, yeah, I know. I and, read and that then, part. And then, <laughs> because I buy these bank leaks all the time, I have an account. I always know, like. But the moment I got fresh, you a nasty bastard. <laughs> you buying Van Cleef fake what? From Shin? Is that what you're doing, Fresh? It's a nasty bastard. The bracelet, I'm like, this is now. For y'all to understand what we're doing here and what the media does is we frame narratives and we control the message. We control the story, we control the narrative. So what they're effectively doing by focusing on things like this. 
we're, we're focusing on the value of their relationship, the quality of the woman, and we're focusing on things that don't mean anything. This is the woman that you got pregnant. What the hell does fake bracelets and dynamics of relationship have to do with anything? There's a child going to be born that needs to be taken care of. Folks love this deflective fuckery to try to rewrite the narrative and have folks focused on other things. Oh, look at this girl. She's a thought. She was wearing a fake bracelet. Bro, we don't care, man. Fake. But I didn't tell him immediately. <laughs> I told him two days later. And he was acting like Fresh he didn't know. Shit. Wait, For sure he a... knows. I'm just curious. Can I ask a question about the... For the kid, if he... If Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything, wouldn't you want him to be involved in, like, your child's life? Good question. Pause. But why would you care about that? Oh, pay attention. What, what do you mean? Well, because technically, because he's the most important person that we're talking about right now, right? Yeah, Correct. but why do you care about he's going to be a part of my baby's life? Is well, that... it's not just your babies. It's both of your babies, right? And doesn't the child yeah, but, uh, father, he doesn't he wants to be involved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both of our baby, but uh, he's not uh, acting like men. So do you think he, he has a right to see the baby? Yes. Do you think you have a right to child support? Ooh, destiny. Destiny is officially on his red pill arc fantastic question let's see what the gold digger says to this now this is why i do the child support court and this is why i should have i should have added a child support court episode in here so we can get what actually happens in child support court bro you're on the hook for child support whether you like it or not if you're an absentee father you can be denied visitation of your child so what the fuck are y'all talking about? You can't just arbitrarily decide, oh, I don't want to be the father. That's not my kid. Disappear for years. Come back five, six years into the kid's life where the child doesn't even understand or know who the fuck you are. Oh, give me my parental rights. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. They handle that in court where it's like, no, you got to get permission, my nigga. You got to get uh, visits where it's supervised visits and all these things. This is why I did the whole child support court in the first place because these idiots get on their platform so uninformed, miss educating and misinforming the masses it's ridiculous out here so it's like shut your bitch ass up you can't be denying denying den denying hey yo what the hell uh, hey. me what's going on you can't be denying you know your child and then just thinking you can just swoop in bro like come on man but you're gonna be on the hook for child support whether you like it or not nigga that's why these passport bros are passport bro in it these guys are trying to avoid responsibility by leaving the country and going to places where they don't enforce child support that's what yo. That's yo. The passport bros. That's a whole different story. But let's get back into this. I I don't. I mean, he doesn't need to. That's fine. Well, you said the U.S. government said he had to pay, but the U.S. government is also going to make you share custody with him too, right? Whether you want to or not, unless you have a yeah. That's what I'm not. saying. That's what I'm saying. If the I will let what government decide to do. If they decide that okay, I might child have to see him, then that's fine. But if the government says okay. He, my baby doesn't need to see him, then that's not unnecessary. What? Shouldn't the priority be to, like, build a healthy <laughs> life for your future oh. child? Shouldn't that be the focus? Like, how do you make sure your child has a father that wants to spend time with him and be involved in his life and has a mother? Look, that... his father doesn't want him. He, he just found out that he's that you're pregnant, he's, right? I mean, he's probably right. afraid to the f*** out, I imagine. He probably isn't ready to be a dad or doesn't necessarily want to right now. But, like, why close the door on that? I am not closing it. I'm just saying... Based so, on his behavior right so, now. You guys gotta understand that what she's doing is trying to punish Fresh. Fresh absolutely fucked up in this situation. He should not have been splashing raw daddy in a woman that thinks like this. But you gotta also understand that she's a garbage thinker of a person. It's not about the welfare of the child. It's not about having a father in the child's life. It's whatever she can do to leverage the laws in the system to extract as much money out of him while also not allowing Fresh to see the baby. Look, uh, why do you speak future? for him? Why do you speak for him? Okay, so that's what he got from that? Jesus Christ. Uh, I'll focus on that in a second. Someone says, you can typically tell the weight of a jewelry and the clasp if it's fake or not. You know, I found this out the hard way when I broke my lobster clasp on my chain and I had to replace it. And I had no idea that that stupid clasp cost so fucking much. I was so shocked. I'm like, how dare this shit cost so much? Well, you need it. <laughs> you need it. Uh, shout out to Darren P with the $5 super chat. 
Darren P says, for MTR to have had an active dad who had a positive impact on his life, but now he's campaigning fresh for being a, po a possible dead, dead, deadbeat. Why am I struggling? A possible deadbeat is crazy. That's facts. It's like, why are you flippantly just scoffing over the notion that this man doesn't want to be in the child's life and he's pushing for deletion? He's in the red pills aligning with conservative values and talking about traditional women, but now he's talking about, yeah, abort the child, though. I don't want to be accountable. Abort the child. And MTR, he was raised by his father. RIP to his father. I think he passed of cancer. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but RIP, if, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. They've had a cancer belt in their, 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 their family. I don't want to like make light of that and all the cancer shit that he's dealt with, MTR himself. And his father, that's some serious shit. But their ideology, when, well, his ideology, not his father. I don't know his father's ideology. MTR's ideology when it comes to this whole red pill shit, is some, it's bullshit, man. A lot of these folks will stay on a certain side to represent a certain point for their fan base and for their echo chamber. They have to represent a certain side for men. They have to let the men know that they're on their side and the points are tailored towards them. Because look, at the, it comes down to sometimes when you create a channel... And you have a terrible imbalance in your in your um in your demographics. You have way more men than women. You become one of these man manosphere channels that just pander and cater to men. And it's just like, God damn it, all for the business instead of representing the points you really want to represent. But let's get back into this. And because clearly he's acting like an idiot on the show. Well, you're both right you're, you're both acting like idiots, right? To be fair, right? You've got what am I acting? Because you got pregnant by a guy that doesn't want to marry you. Right. You're just as dumb as he is, right? Right. Ah, oh, that's what we're doing now? In, tw in big 2024, we are shaming the woman saying, oh, you got pregnant by some man that doesn't want to marry you. What the hell is going on here? That's the focus. That's the primary focus. Holy. Mm -hmm. The problem Takes is with either of you, though. That, that shouldn't be the main concern. The main concern should be the child, right? He's not concerning about the child. I am. That's why I went on an adult conversation. So don't you're you You're leaking DMs on Instagram. Speak for How, him. You don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaking what is all the this money? publicly? What the money is the, is the child is the support money? you think that you were talking about earlier Look, that you're very familiar with you? the U.S. Like, law? Who are you? I'm here because I, I got invited from the owner. Who are you? If you're not owner, don't speak to me. Because <laughs> you have no right to talk about my situation. It's not you're literally about on the money. internet talking about your situation everywhere. What do you mean? I'm talking about the situation. It's not about money. What do you know about anything? What do I, I apparently more than you do? You do? I'm not getting knocked like, up by Fresh from Fresh and Fit. What do you have? <laughs> you're trying to act like you're the one with all the experience who are you? here? Who are you? How do you have the right to talk about this? I don't get how that was funny for when he said he's not the one getting knocked up by Fresh from Fresh and Fit, bro. You're a man. You get, It's not possible, you fish. What? Man, I'm tired of that nigga. Shout out to Lee with the $2 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Uh, I can't tell that. What is that emoji? I feel bad for this woman because the internet is forever or you feel bad for the baby because the internet is forever i can't i sometimes these emojis lee be killing me with these goddamn emojis <laughs> but yeah man i feel, I feel sorry for this. i think it's for the baby that'll, that'll make more sense putting it into context you yeah i feel bad for the baby too man that's what happens man the baby's gonna be born into this if the baby's born because this that's the one thing that i'll always hold against this woman daisy She's early first trimester announcing pregnancy to the world. That's a big mistake. Anything could happen. Not saying that it, it could, like it should or anything, hoping for the worst. Not none of that at all. But you should not, like, that's risky business out here. Risky business. Like, talking about a man. Well, being I, because I'm apparently, because I'm older than you, I've got more life experience than you. I'm the only you one. Older, that... Emmy, so you have more rights? No, apparently I've got, I'm just curious. It seems like you have, like, all of this. I, I don't want to talk to you right now. Look at Okay. So, Daisy, uh, I don't want to talk to you. Let me, um, okay. um, Dusty's going to take a break for a little bit. I, I am. I will. I'll take out this woman is a piece of trash, though. She's ruining uh, this kid's life because she's supposed to milk this guy for money. You're actually subhuman filth. Just letting you know that. Good luck. Bye. You can say whatever you want. Now, he is Destiny's on the panel calling Daisy subhuman filth in defense of fresh. Who got this woman pregnant and is trying to be an absent father. An absolute hypocrite. God damn it. This is a terrible look. Like how. 
The internet's forever, Destiny. You gotta, you can't live this one down. I hate it. I don't judge you. But then again, then again, he got away with a lot more than that. He got away with this. I'm like 92% sure that I should be allowed to say the words like nigger or faggot within the context of an appropriate discussion. At Destiny, you said nigger like one month ago. I would never even utter that disgusting fucking word. I would never, ever, in any circumstance, would I ever fucking say that. So, that Bro, is not true. do you true. know who the fuck I am? Like, I just said the N-word to you like 15 times, like two minutes ago. How are you gonna say this one? You know, like... And black folks still love this guy. I had the whole breakdown in the whole video of him just saying, oh yeah, black folks. He, he, did, he did the same thing, and I drew the parallel in the video. He did the same thing academics did when he was biting his tongue and crying because he wanted to say some homophobic shit against uh, Saucy Santana, but he was in, he was unable to because he, I'm going to get canceled if I say this. It's like, why is that the only thing? You just want to go in on his gayness more than anything, but you can't because you feel like you're going to be canceled. So you're biting your tongue. That's the same thing Destiny had with the black community. He's like, oh, the black community, everything's going to be racist. I want to say certain things, but it's like, what? So you wanted, what is the certain things? I did the whole breakdown. I don't even, I'm, I'm, this is headcanon. This is why I like doing reactions much better. So it's right in front of me and I can break it down. But y'all got to go see that video. The, the, he's, he got caught in 4K as well, man. And then the, the, the predator comments is even worse than the racial comments. So goddamn. You can God say whatever you want. Destiny don't even believe in God, but God is going to judge her. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's so, very mean. Oh, who is that? That so, guy is very mean. So Destiny ends up leaving the conversation, but he comes back several minutes later to further clarify his points. If he does, then I think at least he's doing something. Let's go. You gotta ban me. I can't. You're gonna. I'm gonna kill myself. Listen to this person. Oh my God. You have to ban me from your. Is he, wait a minute. Hold on. We can, we're having a calm, a calm conversation. Yeah, why are you being so mean? No one here is yeah, just yeah, trying no, to be no, nice. No, no. I can't tell Tree. I can't tell how many of you are. Did, for her to say earlier, she's like, and I know that in the United States of America, paternity law says that he needs to pay for this. And also, I'm on a tourist visa, so I can't work, and it's very expensive here in Miami, and I need him to pay for all of the blah 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 blah. Yep. Like, bro, she wasn't going 50-50 earlier. She was investing. And it's about to pay 18 saying, years worth of dividends. Like, Okay, so you're chastising her. You're ridiculing her. You're pointing out all these things instead of pointing out the obvious. That Fresh and Fit have a dating podcast that allegedly warn against women like her. And then he indulged in a woman like her and got her pregnant. How are you avoiding the unaccountability? It's like destiny. That's why he's always cucked. He don't, he don't get it. Oh, yeah, she's doing this with this guy. She's into these Arab guys that have bigger dings. All that bullshit he's been saying. Pause. All that shit he's been saying. But that's your selection. You want to be unaccountable? You want to finesse, you want to finesse life? Like, I, I don't understand this. Trying to turn these hoes into housewives and complaining that they're not that when you fuck up and you invest in too deep. So you're trying to blame them and call them hoes and, and ridicule them. Like, make it make sense, bro. Make it make sense pay for everything i'm not i'm saying he should pay for the non-insurance pregnancy and give birth of the surgery and to see the ob if, if you're a child child's father you you're not going to pay for that i'm not let me clarify destiny's statement because it was absolutely perfect right because the young lady is talking about i'm not in this for money it's not about money i played my own pay ticket i've gone 50 50 on certain things what destiny is saying is is that that's not just you not being a gold digger what that is, is that you're investing. You're trying to make yourself seem like another type of woman so you can latch on eventually. And the latch on, plus Fresh being a complete and utter idiot by coming in you multiple times, thinking nothing was going to happen, has been the inevitable outcome. So you won, but how dare you get up here and try to act like <laughs> this wasn't your plan from all along. Cause your plan worked and now it's gonna pay 18 years of dividends. Not asking to him to pay. Now, did y'all hear Mediocre Tutorial's review on that situation right there? Did y'all hear that? Did you guys comprehend the things that he just said in relation to what we just heard? <sighs> These guys really need some help, man. Like, I don't even know what to say to all of that. I hear this type of idiocy, and I'm like, yo, your focus is so warped. At this point, you're, you're legitly just trying to fulfill your quota for your incel crowd. Where you're just pointing fingers. Pay for my shit. Pay for my shopping. You, you should be trying to get Are him as involved in the child's something? life as you're trying to get him involved in the child's finances. And okay, you seem to have no fine. desire to okay. do that. Okay, fine. Don't get me pregnant. 
You get it's two people. It takes two. He didn't hit you, did he? Are we talking about that accusation today? You guys both know. Do you hear this shit? It takes two people. Of course it takes two people. She is going to have the kid and she's going to raise her kid and he's the one that's opting out. You don't want all these problems that come with this chick? Don't get her pregnant. The fuck is wrong with y'all? You're mad at her, but it's your outcomes from your actions that you had control of. This is the epitome of unaccountability. And it always resides in the red pill slash manosphere space. And this guy, mediocre tutorials and reviews, he knows what he's doing. That's what makes him worse than most of these folks. He knows what he's doing. He's hammering down on a narrative because he knows that's what these folks want to hear. The red pill manosphere space is founded on just blaming women and allowing these, these uh, subpar, dusty-ass rejects feel better about themselves so they don't have to put the accountability on, the, on themselves for being subpar and having the dating uh, options or lack thereof that they have. So it's about chastising and hating women and blaming women for their lack of opportunity, their lack of competitiveness with other men in the dating sphere. That's what it comes down to. You don't see niggas like me bitching and crying about these women. If we don't like a certain type of women, we do better. We get another type, but these guys can't. So they try to complain and degrade these women down to a level because that's what they qualify for. And sometimes they don't even qualify for them. They just use these platforms to bring these girls down to a level so they can qualify for them. Make them feel worse about themselves. Involved in the child's finances. Okay, you seem to have no fine. desire to okay. do that. Okay, fine. Don't get me pregnant. You get, It's two people. It takes two. He didn't rape you, did he? Are we talking about that accusation today? You guys both no, are. You hear Destiny in this dumbass argument. It takes two people. He didn't grape you, did he? Okay, Daisy. Let me explain this for Destiny and every, uh, anybody else that's very slow. Daisy does not mind being a parent and taking care of the child. So her having the unprotected sex and having that child doesn't matter to her. Why? Because she doesn't mind being a parent. Fresh is dumbass. Don't want kids at all. But what did he do? He didn't protect his investment. He nutted in her. That's on you, sir. It takes two to create the baby. You don't want it? Don't nut in her. What do you expect her to do? Oh, you got to delete the baby. Oh, what? If you don't believe in that, you fucked up. You have one control over it. You don't get to veto her control or where, where she has control. Because in certain states, it's her body, her choice. So you don't get to make that choice. Your only protection is not nutting in her. Once you give that up, once you forfeit that, then you signed up to have a child. Whether you, come on, man. Well, well, we yeah. had an agreement. If he doesn't come inside on me, I won't get pregnant. That's not an right? agreement. That's basic biology, Destiny. You can't even say that's not an agreement. That's what happens. If you don't come inside of her, she don't get pregnant. It's that simple. You don't want kids, don't do that. You're putting the ball in her court, now you're crying to her like we supposed to give a fuck? Crying to me, and I'm not having that. Did he? Are we Carlos. talking about that accusation today? You guys both no, are. He's right. both of well, right. well, we yeah. had an agreement. If he doesn't come inside on me, I won't get pregnant. That's not an right? agreement, honey. That's called biology. Be, right. be, uh, be logic. Be like educated yourself, please, before talk to me. <laughs> Essentially what she's trying to say, which it's hard for me to believe. And if this is the truth, then it just further just proves how ridiculous Fresh Prince CEO actually is. But what she's trying to say is that there was an agreement. She said to him, if you come at me, this means I'm going to have a child. You understand, right? She's essentially saying that Fresh was like, yes, I understand. Prior to this entire situation developing or the story coming out, I would never believe Fresh would say anything like that to her. But if you've convinced a chick that you're in a relationship with them, but you're not really doing all of the relationship things such as taking her on a trip to once again, more fluff, bro. I don't care about the dynamic of the relationship. I don't care about the length of the relationship. I don't care about the commitment of the relationship. You nutted in her. You got her pregnant. The child is your responsibility and a fucking story. That's why we have so much problems in these dusty ass spaces. Go see your family in Barbados or at the point that the baby comes out, you now act like you're not in a relationship or you didn't talk about features that your future child was going to have. It shows to me that there's an integrity issue within Fresh. And if he's willing to lie about being in a relationship, then I think he might be willing to lie about this come in me agreement just so he can go raw daddy. But this is the logic of logicless women. 
come in me and it's just your decision as if she has no eight okay so you acknowledge that fresh was fucked up here and then you still found a way to spin it and be like well this is what's wrong with these type of women because you need to cater to the message of your channel that's just what it comes down to they always want to call folks that speak with nuance and keep it a stack and show people what is actually objectively the truth they want to call people like us pandering who are we pandering to Sometimes it favors the men, sometimes it favors the women. We're not trying to pick a side and have this adversarial men versus women war. That's not what we're doing out here. But you guys always want to spin a narrative so the woman has to be the bad guy. She has to look worse in the situation. Oh, the big bad woman coming for your wallet. Bro, come on, man. Agency in the matter to decide whether or not she wants to get prick of logicless women. Come in me and it's just your decision as if she has no agency in the matter to decide whether or not she wants to get pregnant by fresh but here's the thing irrespective of there being no logic within that it doesn't matter because <laughs> child sport laws don't give a fuck about you not having any logic in the situation Before so wouldn't that make you illogical you're factoring in logic well she's already logically covered by child support laws she can have the damn kid she's willing to take care of it he's financially on the hook but you're questioning her logic Ain't he the illogical one, knowing that the system's on her side and he's going to be forced to pay that money? But you're defending, like, it, this, 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 the manosphere red pill space where, it, in their world, women have no logic, women have no emotional control. Men are fully logical and fully in control of their emotions. That's the red pill, the manosphere space. The, it, just on a blanket, that's what it is. Women, logicless, complete no control. No individuality, no merit, no. And everybody's just what their what their gender is over there. It's pathetic. It is pathetic. Talk to me, okay? People ask me a question, and I'm just telling how I feel. I could fake it. I could fake it, okay? He doesn't have to do that. I'm just saying this is what I wish for. Every woman would wish for that. Every woman would wish to get. How long have you even been dating? This Every guy? woman would wish that. The child's father would support them. Yeah, but I think they would also wait to have a baby I'm not the child's father who want wants to be involved money. in the I'm child's saying, life. What are you talking about? Like, please, I don't even want to talk to you right now. She, don't you want a child's father to be involved? Bro, this man is such a pest. How many times did she say she don't want to talk to you? She called into the, whoever's channel this was that she, spoke, she called into to speak to that person. And Destiny's been spearheading the conversation, annoying the fuck out of her with this pestering ass rant. It's like, bro, relax. Sit this one out. She don't want to talk to you. You're just so thirsty for the moment. In the child's life. Yes, I do. I okay. do. But he doesn't want to. Don't you understand me? Then why not work towards that? Can you... I did. Did you not see what I post? Yeah, he I doesn't saw you even want to talk to me. He doesn't want to have an adult conversation. He refused to see me. He said, "I'm not gonna see you." When he did he said, find out? When did he, he find said, out you were pregnant? Like on the 30th of March, I text him. Yeah, that's so the first conversation. And he so said, I called him, and he said, "I said, babe, let's discuss. Let's meet and discuss about the situation." He said, "Meet for what?" He said, meet for what? Go get a pill. That's what he said. It, probably because he doesn't want to have a kid right now, right? It's probably a really emotional time for him too, yeah? Oh, it's probably an emotional time for him but because he, he doesn't want to have a kid. So he was not in control of that. He's not accountable for his own actions. But we're supposed to coddle Fresh's feelings and disregard hers, huh? Even though she was lied to. And she's not mad she's pregnant. She's mad that she's not accepting it. That's facts. Like, come on, man. What are we doing out here? This is, this is the re These guys wonder why women do not submit to them. Why women do not feel safe around them. Why women are passing them up for other folks and they're crying. They wonder why. Because they're adversarial. There's no protection for women. There's no, there's no objectivity for women. It's, uh, we're choosing the men and the men's side instead of the facts. It's like the facts are the man got her pregnant. I don't care who she is. You're, that's what they keep going in to try to color her character. It doesn't matter who she is and what she does and her relationship with Fresh. The fact is he got her pregnant. I hate deflections, man. I hate the deflections. The reason why Steve and I was 
working that that because you got to have her calm down okay because she has every right to be angry right now because she's been rejected by the man that has that she's pregnant by so what i was using was a hypothetical that hey let's go into the future right now she's upset uh, he's upset. Everybody's upset right now. And they're saying things to hurt each other. So when tempers flare down and we're looking in the future and everybody's thinking and processing and they've been talking to their friends, rational and irrational, this is what I was asking her a month from now, what does she want the best outcome? And I know I said the best outcome for her, him, and the baby. And the soon-to-be baby and she was explaining even that if to me, he so was being nice to me even if he was being nice to me like saying okay um i'm gonna get you through this like i'm gonna help you i'm gonna be there i'm gonna go to the hospital with you that would be nice but he didn't even offer that but did I, shot my, me did down. I, let's look at the so let's... here's the thing is that they need to ask her and I thought Destiny was going to continue on doing this to ask the timeline of all of this. Because if you're saying he's not talking to you, well, is he not talking to you now that you're going public? Is he not talking to you now because of the audio recordings that were uploaded? Is he not talking to you now because of the text messages that came out? To be honest, even when she says she's, he's not talking to her, it's like, you know what? Let him finish. Exposing this whole entire situation public. Maybe he's mad at that. And then now they're, they're both their emotions she's doing a speaking tour while he's remaining quiet not wanting to talk to her but if the guy was acting like we're in a relationship one day we're gonna have a strong family let me just ah let me just ah let me just bust <laughs> them cheeks let me just let off at them cheeks it just feels too good rubber i'm Bayesian, nigga we don't even know what rubbers are <laughs> Let me just crash up in them viscous innards the best way that I know how. Lying to her in order to be able to do that. And then she calls him. If that's true, then she calls him. And then he's just ignoring her. That is eight shit behavior. It is so crazy and wild to me at the thought. I'm getting rich. Ah. Yo, wow, wow. During a big speech like that, I was on mute. How dare I do? Yo, what the fuck is going on with me today? But shout out to Omni Design Studio. See, I robbed him of that moment. My bad, y'all. I was on mute for a second. I was spitting. I was on point. Everything I was saying was absolutely facts. I didn't get my credit because I was on mute. But shout out to Omni Design Studio with the big $100 W's in the chat for Omni Design Studio. <laughs> Omni Design Studio says men need to be a held men need to be held accountable for their actions. It begins and ends with the man. Real men don't lie or manipulate women. Stand on your square. Be a man of your word. Stop being a fake alpha males like these, like all these fake nerds. Facts. That is facts. It does start with us first. We're the leaders of the community. You, you want to posture like you're a goddamn leader? Then lead. Don't be manipulating and selling women dreams and want to be unaccountable when it all blows up in your face. That is facts. Shout out to Omni Design Studio once again for the big $100 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Of what this story could mean, which is that they have a podcast where they have the opportunity to dunk on women that make these bad decisions, bad behavior, unaccountable. We talk about what could have led up to these women um, thinking, acting, or feeling this way, or having this low barometer hate for men as they walk through their daily lives. And one of those things are that there wasn't a father in the home. And to think that, to argue with the- Orders niggas like fresh out there, dusting it the fuck up, representing black men in the worst way, being negligent fathers, 
being unaccountable dweebs that piss women off like this and they deal with these women or they deal with these type of men constantly. And you guys don't want to look inward. You want to blame the women. Let's become passport bros. Let's have manosphere panels where we sit down and disparage our women of our community 24-7 instead of realizing that y'all keep giving these women problems. Oh, it's the father, the lack of the father in the, the household. Stop doing that shit. Stop that shit. Yeah, we want, we want families together. We want two parent households. But stop disparaging folks that came up with one parent. Their father was negligent like fresh and they're still a good woman. Stop doing that shit. Just being unaccountable for the field of niggas that are dusting it up. These women, but then to go on a path to perhaps create one of these women, create a single mother, oh. is the exact definition of irony. This is why the act- Why is it their fault? Why is the single mother so- It's Oh my god, yo, this is so bad. And to hate for men as they walk through their daily lives. And one of those things are that there wasn't a father in the home. And to think that, to argue with these women, but then- to go on a path to perhaps create one of these women, create a single mother, is the exact definition of irony. This is why the accusation of grifter gets thrown off so abundantly in this portion of... He's right about that. It's just the framing I always have an issue with. He's right. You can't complain about single mothers and then make them and then complain about. He's right about that. It's just the framing and the focus of them being the biggest detriment is what I have an issue with. And they, they think they're slick with that because it, it just puts the problem on the single mother and it's them instead of focusing on the fact that there's a negligent absent father that is always paired with the single mother because it takes two to create a baby. So every time you disparage these dusty single mothers, you got to disparage these dusty, absent, negligent, deadbeat fathers. You can't do one without the other. And that's where I have an issue with. The internet, the idea that, well, are you just saying this in order to make money or do you actually live by and abide by this lifestyle. I understand mistakes can happen, but we absolutely cannot be, especially in positions of influence, be creating the same exact type of woman that we speak out against. And for what? To attain the money, the status that you coach your young men to have and to still be outright lying to these women? Like just straight up lying, <laughs> straight up lying to them? That's the purpose of being high value, is that you don't have to lie anymore. Tell them the truth, but you still selling them a dream? What part of the fucking game is this? Just lying? No, that's not masculine behavior at all. That's still a scarcity mindset. That's insecurity. That's being scared of something. It might be being scared of yourself, presenting yourself truthfully as a man and letting the chips lie where they need to. At the end of the day, you may not get all of the intended outcomes within your life, but at least you have your integrity through it. Until next time, YouTube. Peace! You have your integrity through it. Until next time, YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry, I hate that shit, man. I hate the cringe. I can't stand that YouTuber cringe. The shit that he does in the intros and the outros that YouTubers do to try to connect on some corny ass YouTube shit. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like that shit. That's why I begin the shit saying, yeah, because that's how I, I, I say, that's how I'm in, in real life. If I see a nigga, I'm like, yeah, what's, what's going on? It's not no, like, come on, this, this shit, I don't like that shit, man. That shit is loserous, man. I don't, I don't like it. Shit makes me cringe. I feel uncomfortable watching it. I'm like, why am I watching this shit? And then I'm caught in 4K looking at it and just, ugh. God damn, man. I understand the points at the end. He made some good points about Fresh being unaccountable and yada, yada, yada. I stopped listening. But, um... Shout out to everybody in the chat. I have another show tonight, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm trying to compartmentalize already so I can focus on that next show. But, um, damn. In conclusion, folks just focus on the wrong things in the manosphere. 
they allow folks to go unaccountable by obfuscating into this other direction of, oh, let's focus on this now. Let's add this fluff. This girl is X, Y, and Z. What is the dynamic of the relationship? It's like, bro, let's focus on the primary issue that we're supposed to be focusing on. And that is the fact that this guy is being a dusty, hypocritical, negligent, deadbeat father. And one more, one, one other thing that we can't ignore, and I don't know why people are ignoring this too much. And I, I made comments to it. I made reference to it a few times, and it's very early in her pregnancy. Folks, don't be announcing pregnancy a month in just trying to, oh, I got this, this guy. Like, this, that whole thing is a little crazy. Make sure that you have a healthy viable pregnancy before you start announcing the shit to the world because shit happens very unfortunate when it does happen shit may not happen but shit happens and you want to you want to be on the safe side of things but at the end of the day folks are going to be negligent people are going to do what the fuck they want to do ain't nobody listening to me we wrapping this up y'all make sure y'all hit the like button upon and upon exit or upon entry whatever the fuck y'all want to do just hit that goddamn like button Salute one more time to the folks that donated, dropped on that cash app, that super chat. Salute to y'all. We put a lot of we put a lot of the, the super chats in the cash apps, especially the PayPals, back into the system. If y'all haven't noticed, the shows have been running a lot more smooth. We added some RAM to the to the to the desktop. We've done a lot of things to improve the quality of the show and the infrastructure so we can get better shows. And all the donations and all that shit really helps put more and pour more back into the business so shout out to y'all we definitely gonna continue growing the channel and expound or ex expanding on the content so um shout out to y'all i'm supposed to go live again but sometimes when i stuff the show i stuff the day with too much lives and too much content it's kind of it, it gets difficult i try to organize myself so everything comes out concisely but sometimes you know uh I have something for this one. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. We out. Yeah. Hold up, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out the show with this. I'm gonna close out the show with this, y'all. Normally, whenever me and Melina would travel, um, we would usually only do cucks for a single night. But because Nim, I guess she really wanted like somebody who was like Middle Eastern and had like a 15 inch or whatever. Norm Normally, whenever me and Melina would travel, um, we would usually only do cucks for a single night. But because Nim, I guess she really wanted like somebody who was like Middle Eastern and had like a 15 inch or whatever, because it's like four times bigger than mine. I had to do it for four nights. They said so they would lock me in the corner of the room and just I would be getting over and over and over again. It's a brutal trip. Normally, whenever me and Melina. Give him a little kiss on the cheek. I, th I think I, I, I was about to just put some after. Okay. I'm not okay with that. Ew, you licked it. Who licked somebody's face? That's me. That's me. She just licked his face. That's okay. You're getting cut. I mean, let's be real. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good i am pregnant i can't pretending like nothing happened i can't in my religion we don't kill you're not okay i want to keep the baby okay well like i said i just don't want any kids okay so what you gonna do and what you gonna do to me nothing why did i do anything to you no, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. I mean, it's because of the, to the doctor, I guess. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? God I... wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. 
It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're fucking me for a month and I'm pregnant. Well, like it, now I just think about it. If like, if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already said we're having sex, but it's too late now, you know? Mm -hmm.